Don't you experience shame? Stream just started. You don't even know what we're playing. First thing you said is Monday morning. It's 9.04 a.m. local time, at least local to where I am. First thing you said is it's gambling time. What's wrong with you? What are you playing? I'm doing tier lists of actors that I could beat in a fist fight. We're not betting on anything. Don't why people assume that, you know, if you want to if you want to gamble, go put your life savings into the FanDuel app. Um win your first bet ever, thus creating an immutable anchor in your brain that makes you think that you're just better at gambling than the average person. And then, you know, slowly let the app siphon all of your disposable and non-disposable income for the rest of your life. We don't do that here. Occasion, just to, I do it to keep the dogs at bay. The casino keeps me from people going, whenever I play Super Auto Pets, okay? When we have real content, we don't need the casino. It's a crutch. Thank you for the reminder, by the way. The thumb arc is, uh, well, I'd, I'd say we just perhaps went through the climax. It's great news. I know it sounds like bad news, but it's great news. My, uh, my left thumbnail that you may remember two and a half months ago, I slammed in the hinge on the back door. The last little piece of it finally fell off, which I know sounds horrible. Because if you're imagining going from like a completely healthy nail to the thumbnail falling off, you're like, that is gross. But it was like, first it was like all mangled and then the bottom half fell off. And then it like, uh, it died like a millimeter per day and I'd have to trim it down. And then I'd be like flossing and the floss would get stuck under the old nail and it would hurt like a son of a bitch. And I had to trim it down, trim it down, trim it down, trim it down. So the fact that there's nothing to like get caught on like a thread or a zipper or anything like that is is amazing for me. I feel like I can actually grip with my left hand again. But people who said your thumbnail will fall off and I said, no shot, dude, you were right. It fell off. And now, I mean, it's I don't know if it's growing back because like it's not like a, a fully formed nail is pushing out from like my cuticle. I think that like my nail bed is secreting cells and they're slowly like solidifying into a thumbnail but it's just i mean people said it could take up to two years so and by people i mean one person in chibs chat but i'm here to tell you i'm not sweating that at all i'm just happy it's it's gone because like healthy nail great stuff no nail second best outcome mangled half dead fingernail much worse Anytime I get gifted subs from the librarian, it's like, you know what I think you're doing? I think you're putting a chat slash marker. Like you can look at your credit card statements and then you can be like, oh, go watch the stream at 9.07 a.m. I gave five gifted subscriptions. This is something I'm going to want to put in the compilation. Is there, am I correct on that or am I, is this my headcanon? Which is fine. There's nothing wrong. I mean, it's, it's great for me in particular. It's headcanon. Okay, well, in that case, I appreciate the support. I'm trying to, I, I thought I did something worth talking about this weekend, but not, like on, on Saturday, I just went to the park with my daughter like a lot. It was like three degrees Celsius. It was cold as hell. Saturday in the park. Wow, and it, I think it was the 4th of March. There were no people talking or people laughing because it was very cold. Singing Italian songs. I don't know. I went for a long walk when she was napping. I, I was pushing her around in the stroller. I really wish that, uh, that, that Sufjan Stevens tweeted popped off. Sufjan Stevens and Red Hot Chili Peppers are going to make such a banger when he finally gets around to California. Like 700 likes. Follow-up tweet, Red Hot Chili Peppers stats on the track, Tony Snell.jpg, zero points, zero assists, zero rebounds, zero steals, zero blocks, 28 minutes. Boo! They booed me! They hated the man because he spoke the truth. I wish I had musical talent. I feel like uh, you could make a really easy Sufjan Stevens Red Hot Chili Peppers mashup. 
where it just starts with like a bound, 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 bound. I lick on your clit in the state of the sun. Don't stop my bike or I pull out my gun. And then Sufi and Stevens is like whispering in falsetto, like, oh my God. Something like that. I can't really do it though. Wake up the cake at the leg. She's kissing me as they do when they do in Sicily. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Just a little bit of work. Sunday, we went to, we went to H Mart. There's nothing really to say. It's kind of like a, I'd say in many ways, it's like a Korean Costco. Did you cry at H Mart? No, actually we went pretty early, so it wasn't that busy. H Mart, probably pretty close to the store. I'd be most likely to have a psychotic break in though. Cause most of the time I'll be like looking at onions or something. And then some 72 year old lady will just shove in front of you and then pick up every single onion and then put it back down. And I, I'll just like, most of the time I've, I've been polite. But there are some times like I'll look to Kate and be like, oh, that's no problem. I wasn't really, even though I was at the onions, I didn't want to get an onion anyway. And I just, if they understand what I'm saying, that's fine. I'm going to assume that they don't care. If they cared, they'd probably have manners. But yo, yo, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I need to pick up every single apple in this bin and then put it back down over and over and then not buy it. Otherwise, though, I like H Mart. They got good, I mean, expensive, but, but good cuts of, uh, of, I mean, good Korean style cuts of meat for sure. What the hell else did I do? I don't even, I don't remember anything. I made a Costco grocery list because I'm, maybe I'm going to go tonight. I had to say maybe because I didn't want you to show up. I'm going to be there. But I'm, I'm going to be at work there, okay? I thought I watched something and I was like, this thing that I watched is really good, but I don't think I watched anything. I think I, I think I made that shit up. I think I might have had like a good dream that I don't remember. Rank your grocery list? I mean, I'm not afraid. I'll just, I'll, I'll tell you what I got on the grocery list right now. Bio Steel Hydration Mix Powder. Strawberries, chocolate milk, Tide Pods, pre cooked chicken, bagged salad, tortilla chips, cat treats, and beef jerky. And that's just what's on the list. I mean, there, there could be some impulse purchases in there. Tide Pods are not canceled. What are you talking about? Bunch of idiot TikTokers ate them and got sick, and now the the soap is canceled because it's not supposed to be eaten in the first place. Soap is illegal now because you, you, everybody knows you're not supposed to eat it, but some person ate it anyway and faced the consequences. Why spend more on Tide Pods when you can buy detergent for the same results? Um, I'll have you know the Tide Pods are uh, $4 off this week, which pisses me off because it means less cash back. I'm telling you, the bio steel hits different. Yesterday's Peloton ride, I was not, like my legs were cooked. I did 90 minutes in three 30-minute intervals. After the first 30-minute interval, I literally thought I was going to fall over or pass out. I, I poured a bio steel into a pint of water, drank it in like, I'm not going to say like chugged it. I drank it in like one gulp. Like I opened up my throat and just let it flow into my stomach. And after, then I did the next 60 minutes and I was, I mean, still struggling but feeling pretty good. It's been a while since we had a, a, like a, a, a non-serious argument on stream. Occasionally, we have some serious arguments on stream. Like, I still can't get over the fact that a, a Costco rotisserie chicken a, in Canada is $5.99. It's an entire chicken. It's got to be like a pound and a half of, of cooked meat or something like that with seasoning. People in chat were like, yeah, it's an okay deal. What are you talking about? Are you just stealing like vegetables out of other people's gardens for free? That's the only way you can beat those margins. It's a lost leader. They're losing money on the sale. Stolen Wi-Fi, stolen. And by the way, listen, if you want to if you want to step to a guy who's wearing a Mickey Mouse baby blue long sleeve sweatshirt that says Walt Disney World on the bottom, go ahead. Okay? It's Monday. I got a lot of energy. You can't stop me. Well, yeah. you probably want to rip your skin off. Yeah, that's the that's, thing is, ooh, unsupervised, I really only feel comfortable around maybe like three monkeys. I think if you threw a fourth like monkey... Well, I feel like if you threw a fourth monkey in there, they could overwhelm me. Monkeys are, in general are just kind of strange. Do you think you could take three monkeys, though? Well, I think I could get out of the situation before it got too bad. It depends on what kind of monkeys we're talking about, too. Uh, they're pretty fast. If it's three they chimpanzees? Yeah. Nah, dude, those are some strong monkeys. You're fucked that one, honestly. Yeah, one chimpanzee would rip my arms clean out of my socket. 
You saw what they did to that Florida lady. They like, pulled her face off. Oh, you see in, uh, in M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening? Uh, That's not what I meant. I meant the real That was lady. a good movie. That too. A what? single monkey no. could fuck you up? No, I could take on, like, Marcel, Ross Geller's monkey from Friends. I could kill yeah. Marcel. There's no, well, see, no question. Marcel saying you could, you could fight. You could, like, oh, I could fight one dog. What kind of dog? There's a big difference. Nah, I mean, I, I feel relatively confident. I would give myself like a 90% chance of killing any dog in a self-defense situation. No. Any dog? Any not dog. Not true. Yeah. Like a wolf. No, That's like not a dog. Hey, is it a canine? Like what are we talking <laughs> well, about? Are we talking about the genus or the species? That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think I could. Well, I mean, I'd, I think I'd give myself, you know, even well, odds with a wolf. All right, yeah, man. No, yeah, kill fuck a poodle. Off. Good fucking job. You know, do you want to do like, a how large. Rottweiler? <laughs> Come on. Ryan has a lot of practice killing dogs. You so don't understand. Right You're <laughs> underestimating the human brain and the human will to live. We're an extremely cunning species, dude. You're telling me that there's never been a human that's been killed by a no, dog. No, that's not what I said at all. That's what I said. All I said is I give myself like 90%. If I know I'm getting into a fight with a dog, I give myself 90% chance. I know this situation can never exist. I want to see been, you I've take on a wolf. A dog. I, 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 just, I didn't I say a wolf. No, but you I did though. You, I heard that you could take a wolf. You said, you said you'd dog. give yourself like 50 50. Or 50 something. 50? That doesn't mean I'm. That means I'm 50% confident. You, you were, no, you're like 1090. There's no way. I can't. First off, I just want to say I actually got a run so good that I'm fucked. I can't. My knife is so strong with homing, I can't pull it off of Mega Satan. Could you defeat Last Grey Wolf? <laughs> Probably. I don't understand. I've got to kill all these bosses with Little Steven or something. Holy I'm just fuck. thinking, like, I think, like, if a dog's charging at you at full speed, yeah, and it's not a Pomeranian, it's like a German Shepherd, you know, full size, ready to fuck yeah. your shit up. Like, those are fighting you, dogs. Before you can get to the punching it in the nose, it's not gonna come at you nose first. It's gonna have its mouth. It's gonna open. come at you sideways. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what they do. I just mean like it's gonna, it's gonna try to get your arm or your leg or something. It's gonna fucking. Oh, that was a lot that's of another part there. he said. If you do, like, what you're supposed to do, if you have to let him, you give him the back of your arm, because obviously they're going to pull and tear at anything, and if they get the inside of your arm, that's when you, like, bleed out. So give him the biggest bone you've got, if that be your <laughs> arm or leg, in a position that you should be able to hit him in the face or eyes. Because <laughs> you phrase that any worse. Ugh. What would you give your odds against a gorilla? I don't know, like, maybe... 8%. 100%. Yeah, it's like, it's gonna be pretty low. Yeah. It would be an accident that, like, I, I accidentally knocked a rock into his throat or some stupid thing yeah. as it was mauling me. Like, do you start off, like, is the gorilla in, like, a Cincinnati zoo cage and you have on a the gun with a rifle? Yeah. Or... Honestly, I think if child? you gave me a rifle and one shot at the gorilla before we <laughs> fought, I still only give myself maybe, like, a 25% chance. Yeah. There's yeah, probably like I an eighty percent chance to be able I miss. Kill a gorilla with one bullet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean it might even be if you're not gonna kill him with one shot, you probably want to miss because you're just gonna make him mad if you win him. <laughs> eight percent means works. you win one in twelve fights. No fucking way. You guys are so you're you're tackling this exclusively from like a who's got more muscle situation. That's a huge aspect. I don't disagree, but it's not like you know. In the UFC, you're like, like, oh, Tank Abbott is the guy you got to watch out for. You got to watch out for Tank. Yeah, well, I mean, this Tank is back the in the gorilla. day where you could like, if you were just kind of like overweight but strong, you could be like the number one UFC fighter in the world. Mm. But that was like 15 years ago, so. But, but like, the dog's not gonna give. He's not gonna let you sit there and write a fucking paper on how you're gonna. Fight. What do you think I'm gonna? I'm just saying a dog, you know, is got teeth, is got claws. It's got a lot of, like, crushing power. I don't doubt that for a second. I, I don't we think got... your brain's gonna be working properly when those things are inside of you. You got ingenuity, man. When the dog gets inside of you, you're not gonna be thinking properly. <laughs> What's your odds against a grizzly bear? Hmm, that's tough. I mean, With less, no weapon? less than, like... coin flip? No, it's like less than 20% for sure. Oh, fuck. It's no, less you than don't, 5%. No, you don't fight a grizzly. You either play you dead live. or... No, survive. but you have to fight the grizzly. You're not... What are you going to do? You have you nothing to gauge penetrate. the grizzly in combat. It's too late for you. No, what are you... You know, climb a tree and then throw sticks at it until it dies. <laughs> they can climb trees. Yeah, you just move to another tree.
until it dies. He just moved. He just moved to another tree. Well, I'm not. I'm not giving myself fifty percent. I'm giving myself like you know fifteen. I anything above like one, you're out of your mind. No, you guys you overestimate animals. If you're giving yourself anything other than one. You know what I would do? I would leave the forest. Trash go online, please. Oh, you are. Never mind. I would leave the forest and then just live my entire life until the grizzly bear died before me. I win. You would leave the forest? Yep, I would I would outthink it, get out of the forest, get a job in the city, working for the man every night and day, and then uh, Grizzly, will, I'll just get a missive one day, and you know like, the bear can follow you out of the forest. Not into the city. Animal control will get him. <clears throat> you, but you have to outrun it. No, I agree, Chat. Josh could fuck up a gorilla 100%. <laughs> That's not fighting it. Well, if I beat, if it's dead and I win, you know. I don't know. Chat's like apparently to you guys, 15% is like 100%. So I, give myself, I give myself a 1 in 7 chance of killing this grizzly, and they're like, are you crazy? You're going to give yourself a 1 in 7 chance. Yeah. And so Did you see the Revenant? If, they, Leonardo DiCaprio went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that grizzly. I didn't see that movie, but thanks for ruining it for me. You didn't, well, I'm not, he, I mean, they <laughs> you both, ruined it. there's collateral damage, you know? I've, I've seen that. Me too, I've actually. I've seen collateral. I've seen, collateral and collateral damage. Collateral is much Whoa. better. Whoa. Nice shot. Yeah. Thank you. He lost to the Grizzly? They both lost, dude. They both lost. Please change recording area. Oh, yeah. That's pretty fucked, isn't I it? I don't think any of us could kill a Grizzly Bear. One in I seven doesn't you mean you could kill it. It just One means you've got a chance. So high. I don't think you have a chance, though. You don't ever hear a story of some guy who just won against a Grizzly? Is that ever? No. Yeah, approximately 16% of the time. Illusion. And if anything, they do the thing where they hide from the grizzly. No one's ever fought one. Well, th this is so not fair because Chad's going, "Oh, you well, you can't use your brain to kill the grizzly." Oh, well then, okay. The grizzly bear can't use his fucking claws then. I guess we can't use the advantages at our disposal to, you know, destroy is there the a enemy. Run the goal post is what you're doing. No, I think it's just if you want to go, which animal's stronger is a grizzly bear. There's no question <sighs> the grizzly bear is way stronger than us. We, we got novelty, man. Oh, here we not go. in their territory, you don't. Yeah, absolutely we do. You realize, we, I'm not saying that we became the top species on planet Earth by killing grizzly bears left, right, and center. But we did, we outcompeted them, man. If you had proper training, yes, I'm sure you could fight a grizzly bear, but you don't have the training. We're talking about you now. Nah, dude. Here's what you do. Hide from the grizzly. Wait till he falls asleep. Sharp stone. Cut his throat. You win. It's, you're not going to be able to hide from it, though. It can smell you. It doesn't matter. I'll put on deodorant. Again, yeah, move, move the goalpost. I don't think it's moving the goalpost, dude! <laughs> I didn't Chuck. consider the deodorant. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, I don't think I could win. If it's like a punch for punch, there's no chance. But that's what we're talking about. I don't think so. I think we're talking about, you know, it's... You guys are talking about a, a, a Knockout Kings 2004 situation. I'm talking about the Hunger Games, you know? You and a grizzly both get dropped into a forest. Well, then you just fucking leave. I played yeah, this regular <laughs> NES game one time, and in that, you, like, fucking wrestled a grizzly bear. It's weird. Like, that, you're out Oh, that's, um, I wish... Gator... Gator Billy? What is that game? What? Oh, Bayou, Bayou Billy. Billy, yeah. The Adventures I don't of... think so. I don't think... I mean, maybe. Did you wrestle a grizzly in that? You could. I could see that being a thing. Definitely I, I, a gator. I, I, I have no recollection of, like, what the game, like, actually was, but I, I vividly remember... Like you were, you're, you're kind of like in this like outdoor arena, maybe, and it was like dark. Like you're fighting this grizzly at night. Wow. See, but that's oh. very much against Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Yeah, I don't know. A I, man I wish I could remember. killed a grizzly unarmed before. Well, it was biting his arm. He latched onto its jugular with its teeth. The blood flow to the brain slowed enough to knock it out. Damn. See, I'm not saying that's the way that's to do it. Survival I'm just shit. saying, you know. <laughs> That's the human mind, man. Could a bear wow, fight bullshit. an alligator, or does that not seem to be a thing? I would give myself, by if, if I'm fighting an alligator, if I'm in the water, I give myself like a negative a million percent <gasps> chance. You took no, two throws No, the bear fights me. the alligator. I did. Here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like an alligator is like, if you got a sharp object, those things are kind of like, you can just like jump on it and stab it. No it way, dude. Maybe it was a Super Nintendo game. If you're in the water, you're done. 
No, I meant on land. Okay, on land. Wait, That's guess, the one I'll give you. You I'll gotta try to like, things, like get on its back. Sometimes right? they just sit there for some reason. And they let people like lay on them and put yeah. bags on their heads. <laughs> like, wait, Rat. Alligators <laughs> are pretty. You do that. You yeah. broke my TV. Oops. Sorry, dude. This now guy's I'm gonna, gonna get blunderbuss. Yeah. On. God damn it. I'm just thinking my my thinking when I was confronted with a bear in front of me was like, okay, if this doesn't work, I lay down on the ground and let the person I'm with escape while I die. Yeah. That was my plan. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm serious. That was actually my plan. <laughs> it's like, I, take one for the team. There's no other option here. I don't know what else to do. Mm. So that's the mindset that I had. It's pretty intimidating having a bear in front of you. It's not that intimidating. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. It's, what's it, 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 what's it the is highest cool. score a bear's ever gotten on an SAT test? I don't know. Probably like fucking zero, right? Zero, probably. Yeah. Not, not that smart. Right. This Here's the thing. Beta, bitch. I just realized, like, if any of you guys <laughs> Thanks, fight a bear, man. I give you zero percent because confidence is gonna be like that's all you got coming into that fight. Bears got every other advantage you could possibly conceive of. I can. You... So let's just let's do it different. If you have a hundred fights with yeah. a bear, how many times are you gonna win? Like, what, define fight. Yeah, yeah. You, the bear in a in the woods, drop down next to each other. The bear's mad at you. It's not gonna let you go. You drop down next to each other. Within like 20 feet, you got he's gonna run at you for about 20 feet before you gotta fight. Mm, that's gonna How be are tough. You dropping down, see, I think the more distance, like if if you put me in an arena with the bear, but it's like a five mile arena, I give myself better odds. If we're in the smaller the arena is and the closer the bear is to me, whoa, we got a problem. But that's like what a fight is, not always in the Hunger Games, they were fighting. They also were shooting fireballs they at people. They were fighting to survive. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 20 I feet is not... I didn't have a gun. I still think I, still think I could get three, three or more kills on a bear in 20 feet. Wait, with what? With with my mind. Hello? You're going to mind kill a bear? Do you have psi powers? Did anyone else's <laughs> dog game just cringe? Nope. No. Oh, no. okay. No, it's back. That's fine. It's back? Yeah. Guess who's back? Everyone's... Do you understand... You think the bear is going to beat you 100% of the time? Yes. You're not going to win ever against a bear. Maybe once it's by some stroke 100. of luck. Oh, so so three is ridiculous, but one is sensible. Yes. I That's mean, a win. Like, this is like saying, you know, well, Horizon Zero Dawn's not an 8.7. It's an 8.73. You, you weren't saying three. You were saying like seven. Yeah, or one out of seven. Yeah, but then when you, when you revised it to 100 and I conceptualized it in that way, I was like three. I said it was 78. I think See, three is less true. unreasonable, but I still think it's unreasonable. Dude, I think there's a chance that if you were in like a fist fight, or, well, I mean, they don't have fists, but if it was like you versus the average house cat to the death, and you both could conceptualize that it was to the death, the house cat would probably win like three times over a human being. No. You think the house cat would win zero times? What? <laughs> How would a house cat kill you? You just use his freaking claws to slice you on the throat and, like, bite you and never let go? Not my cat. My cat doesn't have teeth. Right. Your cat would be at a disadvantage, I would say. I don't like thinking about fighting cats. It makes me sad. Never mind. It blew away. What? You guys don't understand variants. People were like, so you can you think you can fight a bear, but you can't fight Tomo? No, I'm saying I got the same odds <laughs> against a bear that Tomo has against me. Like it does against the bear! Yeah, no, I think I'm agreeing. No, but it's not that. enough. It's not enough to put you over... Oh. <laughs> there is a bomb there. It's not enough to put you over 50%. Yeah, I stepped on it. But it's enough, to, you... it's enough to give you a chance. I don't understand how that works. Hi, I'm NL. I win against the bear, but lose against... 3% the <laughs> of the time! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good summation of this conversation. You guys are, you guys are actually simultaneously underestimating yourselves and overestimating all animals except for your, your idea is like if an animal's smaller than you then you have a hundred percent odds if it's larger than you you got zero well it's, like it's if it's larger, larger than, like i could probably it's a, a fucking deer, bear, bear man i'm just saying i don't i don't think uh, any... excuse uh, moi <laughs> excuse moi I was a million years away from that. Light years even. I will, I will, no, Ryan, I'm going no, to <laughs> resign a, a one. I think I'll give you one out of a hundred. Okay, all right, we're 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 on the same page there then. But I'm not giving you three, like, no. 
That is some one in a hundred bullshit luck. Well, I guess we'll have to prove once. it then. Mythbusters. All right, let's do it. Oh. What? I'll, I'll give you three because I don't give a shit. Like, you can have three. Three what? Three wins. The only reason I'm giving you one, though, is because someone apparently did it once already. That means it's possible. <laughs> You, you do have to bite, bite, yeah, the, jugular bite the jugular out of its neck. Well, it's got you pinned against the ground while you're <laughs> pissing and shitting yourself. That's a good question. What animal do you think you have a 50% chance in? It does depend on the situation. Yeah, Kangaroo of is 50-50? I don't necessarily believe that. <laughs> Nick, that was impressive. Kangaroo is going to get you at least like 37. It's going to be ugly too when it gets you because they tear out all your insides. I don't understand. You guys have no respect for how, the how human mind. Ninety nine point nine nine percent. The thing about of a kangaroo is would that... kill the cat and Al, however, one hundred percent would lose. <laughs> <laughs> the kangaroo's like, it's got, it's gonna wait for you to strike. It's not coming at you. You got to get to it, and it's gonna fucking kick the shit out of you if you get even close. Your ancestors would be like so disappointed in you. A kangaroo took a dog hostage. I've seen it. Yeah, and then the dude punched it in the face and it ran away like a little bitch. That guy was <laughs> a powerful guy. How many <laughs> how many cats before the odds tip in the favor of the cats? I think if you had like 15 cats, life's going to be a problem for you. <laughs> it's that many, really? I think like, I don't think one, contrary to what you might think, I don't think one cat is a problem the vast majority of the time. And then like, you can get... Like, if you do, like, a roundhouse kick or something, you're not losing that much momentum when you hit one cat. So, like, three cats, four cats per kick, I don't think that's an issue. And they're not going to organize, so... Just kidding. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> we don't run the world because of our fucking strength? Yeah, but it's not just strength in a fight. You, you guys are... We run the world because of girls. And that's a good point as well. But also, like, we, you use your cunning in a fight as well. You run I, because your yeah. legs. I thought our strength was that we figured out how to use complex <laughs> tools to solve problems more than our strength. No, we got a dirty-ass brain, and it just gets better the more cooked protein we eat. <laughs> Basically like a supervillain, evolutionarily speaking. Ryan, how many times out of 100 do you think you could beat Rob in a fight? I give myself, like, 60-40. <laughs> wow! There's actually no way. I don't know. I think I've got Rob a lot grew of... up fighting. Like, he wants to fight. I think i got Rob's a lot of darkness you inside of me. at least 90 10. 90-10? Yes. You are so high. I'll give him 80-20. I, I wouldn't be offended if you said 50-50. I'm not going to be offended <laughs> if you give him 60-40. But you're going to give Rob 90-10? Yeah. Rob is going to Rob's gonna give Rob 100-0. I can tell you that much. That is ridiculous. Huh. I think if Rob wasn't feeling it that day, there's like that's where the twenty percent ch chance comes from. All Rob would destroy is... NL ninety five percent. There is time. you guys are <laughs> so up your own ass. Rob, you did it, man. You won. Yeah, I told you, you I had some darkness inside of me. There you go. You did. <laughs> I go to the doctor. Yeah, you do go to the doctor. You're gonna fight bears. You're gonna fight Rob. It's gonna... you asked me. <laughs> I gave myself a modest chance of beating modest. Rob. 60-40 is modest! Oh, I thought you meant 60-40 in your favor. Yeah! You're still wrong, no, but... that's still modest. Gross. If you can't beat Malf, you can't beat Rob. That is such a false dilemma. I was cleaning this floor, and then Malf <laughs> jumped on my back and put me in a chokehold. That's part of what fighting is. He that's got not you. being... He got you. you didn't expect it. He's like he's a sleeper agent that got activated. What celebrity would you give yourself a 50% chance with? I would say Jeff Goldblum. How do you, uh... Oh, your box is a Don. Here. Oh, okay, here, okay, catch yeah. this one. Oh, yeah, wait, okay, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what are your odds in a fight against Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan's got me, like, 85-15. Joe Rogan's got you a You do not zero. understand variants. If There's I catch no him with a throat here. punch, he's gonna go down, dude. No. No. He, he, he's, a, he's trained. He's I know, but it's, it's still, like, that's why I'm giving him, like, overwhelmingly positive odds. That's not overwhelmingly 85 positive, 85 to 15 what? On is Steam, so that's good. only, like, positive. <laughs> that's very positive. <laughs> I'm saying Joe Rogan would destroy me. I'm just saying there's a 15% chance I get extremely lucky and, you know, roast his there's ass with a throat punch. There's a 50% chance? 15 percent <laughs> Chance I get extremely lucky. Oh. What about Seth Rogen? 
I think me and Seth Rogen would be like 50-50. All right, I'm going to tell him you said that. I would never fight him. We're both Vancouverites. We've got peace in our blood. <laughs> All right, Austin, how you want to do I this? I think he's got something else in his blood. I'll have to go to mine, but not cook it. Honestly, if you put like a 14-year-old kid <laughs> in a fight against Joe Rogan, the 14-year-old kid has like a 5% chance. I didn't feel You're... good about that, so I did it. That's fair. That's I, I, 19 I to 1 odds. If you saw like a football match with 19 to 1 odds, you put like $100 on them to win, you get zero money back. It's not about the money. It's just about the, like, what, what is, how is a 14 year old kid going to win? Ever. Punch him in the throat. But how is he going to get the, he's going to be You're so lucky. Take his car keys out and stab him in the dick. <laughs> stab him it's right through the dick. It's all about the car keys for you. I mean, it's the most. If I if someone walked into my oh. office right now, I'm thinking I got a pretty nasty coffee mug. Just bash him over the top of the head, Mizalu. Is this what happened to you after you played Hitman? You just well, started. Man, apparently, you got to be prepared because every celebrity puzzle. wants to fight. I didn't realize. <laughs> they we do. should we should do Hitman on the NLSS. Oh, yeah, I would love to, Josh. I would love to. It's probably my favorite game of last year, to be honest. With celebrity you. death match on the NLSS. Nick, get Hitman. He so got you can me. Play that. He got me. It'll be fun, I promise. How do you know a 14-year-old doesn't have car keys? You could have an extra set from his parents or something. This is why you guys are going to get beat by the 14-year-old. is because you underestimate them. I'm telling you. I, you you don't want to get in a fight with me because now i got something to prove. 14-year-olds have glass bottles that they broke open. I'm, I'm a very peaceful man, but... You guys are opening up a demon inside of me. Go to a martial arts gym and try to fight someone. You'll get killed 100% of the time. <laughs> Well, if I get killed the first time, we don't get the large enough sample size to know if I'm right or wrong. It's true. That's why we got to do it in, in VR. Statistics variance can't be applied to real life events. That's the whole point of all right, statistics. All right. Oh, there's, yeah. There's okay. shoes here. Oh, my God. More shoes. If your statistical variance is 15%, though, you've got a big fucking issue in your I mean, it's not an unreasonable calculation. standard deviation, I think. Do you Joe think Rogan. you could take Ronda Rousey in a fight? There is... That's actually... I would much rather fight Joe Rogan you than won. Ronda Rousey. That was good. That was that was deceitful. You're not going to win against either of them. Oh, I agree with that. On, on an, if we're doing a one-time fight, there's no doubt. Joe Rogan does our job now. I know it, there is a he's way trained. Ronda Rousey is like <laughs> God. A, an actual like professional fighter right now. Didn't she lose a bunch though? Yeah, to other professional fighters. No excuse. Did Joe Rogan even ever fight in UFC, or is he just a, the only, like, strong dude who does UFC commentary? Now he just does a podcast, smokes weed all the time. I'm not saying oh, he wouldn't kick the one. shit out of me. I'm just saying, you know, Ronda Rousey is a professional athlete in the present day and age. What about variants, though? Well, I mean, if we're talking about a one fight. Why you, Why you keep bringing up Game of Thrones? Oh, Varys. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> Any man hey. with decent training could beat up Ronda Rousey? I don't know about that. What the I don't hell? Know about that. Really? I don't Where know, did that dude. Even come from? I think like, I think that there's no doubt that you know men have a certain like physiological advantage. Oh, I didn't know it was you, Josh. Sorry. What do you mean you don't know it's me? I forgot you were a big eyeball that flexes and jerks off. <laughs> but like, Ronda Rousey would kick the shit out of me, no doubt. Any. Trained male fighter? What are we talking about? A dude who goes to the gym or a dude who's like in the top like 50 UFC fighters? Dude who goes to gym. That dude's got no chance. Right? Just a dude who has gains? Ronda Rousey is like a trained weapon. How much do you yeah, think we need to pool together to make this happen? I want to see Ronda Rousey fight Dan Giesling. Dan Giesling. You bet on Dan, Dan, Dan in that? Yeah. You are sick. <laughs> I died instantly. I think you guys are joking, but. I think they're joking. Dan's not going to beat Ronda Rousey. There is no way. Yeah, but he could try. He would probably beat any of us. Yeah. I think can. Dan is the only one Dan in our circle of friends that does, like, any physical activity at all. Yeah. <laughs> Size and weight is a huge advantage. Oh, all right, okay. We put Louis Anderson against Ronda Rousey. How self-inflated do you have to be to be like, yeah, I mean, Ronda Rousey is a professional fighter. 
She's lost twice against other professional fighters, but I would probably beat her. <laughs> like, that is I'm madness to me. Louis Anderson mm. can't take a punch, but he could give one out. I don't know if that has any historical precedent. <laughs> Where did that come from? Bruce Lee would destroy the rock. That's probably true. That Real talk, funny. though, in like a Hunger Games situation, <laughs> I would not lost. want to be up against Dan. Yeah. Dan's the guy you finally got sleeping in a tree, and then all of a sudden you just hear a rustling, and then like nothing personnel, nah. kid. Hunger Games, oh, everything God. changes. Everything changes Hunger Games style. I give myself a much better chance. Yeah, than I would agree with that. Mouth sneaky too. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want to have to come to that conclusion that one of my <laughs> friends has to kill me. I think I, I would. See, be really like Nick, no it. offense, dude, you're first out in the Hunger Games. I know. <laughs> well, Even I if know you that. make it to the final two, you're gonna be like, punch. just kill me so that you can win. You just you don't you don't have the the killer instinct inside of you. I don't like deep inside things. of you. Oh, well, fuck. If you guys have to kill me in the Hunger Games, can you just let me do it instead so I don't have to have Yeah, then you kill yourself. Yeah, but then you have to live with you killing me and it's going to be on your conscience. Yeah, yeah it's going to be bad for my KDR, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't think I have a good chance in the Hunger Games. I think you got to say... Uh, I, I would go like Austin, Dan, Malf. Those are the people I'd be watching out for. And Mathis. Not me. No Not way. Yeah. Mathis. Okay, Mathis. Nah, Josh... I think you try to play it too honorably. No. No way. I don't no, know. Josh honorable. is the least honorable in that situation. Man, this is the guy who would just like bury himself in a pile of dirt and then <laughs> eat, eat worms for like six months until everybody else died. Do you I don't really want to have though. to eat worms for six Spark months bot. rather than be killed Spark by one of your Spark friends? Bot. See, that, Nick, that's why you're, like, first out in the Hunger Games. See, game. I like yeah. this. Josh would be the guy that befriends everyone and stabs in the fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> The thing about Dan is that... <laughs> <laughs> Dan, no, Dan's got too big a target on his head. Oh. People are like, they know he's got that big brother experience. No one's gonna fucking fall for his stuff. Mm, you'd think so, You'd have yeah. to squat up against him. These are A24 actors ranked based on how likely it is that I could beat them in a fight. Now, I want to establish some rules, okay? Uh, no weapons... That's about the only rule I could think of. Like, let's, you, you know how on Physical 100, there were two arenas for the 1v1 wrestling. One of the arenas was like a, an obstacle course, and then the other one was just like a circle. We're going to town in just the circle, okay? There's no terrain. There's no weapons. There's just, uh, it, it's just a flat room in a warehouse. And it, it's not till death necessarily. Let's say it's to death or submission. A24 actors I can completely demolish. A24 actors I can beat up. A24 actors I can probably beat up. Fight is a draw. A24 actors that can probably beat me up. A24 actors that can definitely beat me up. Nope, I'm running. <laughs> it's interesting because I, I, my first thought is like I'm, you know, a pampered coast, coastal elite whose life has had no actual hardship in it. So that's a, it's a problem for me in spirit. But then these are like largely big time Hollywood actors who have a team of people like spoon feeding them like every single meal and stuff like that. Sure, some of them have had combat training, but like on a mental level, I, I think I'm not cooked by 100% of them, at least. I, I, I think I got a chance against a few. I'm, and I'm just going to be honest, okay? Like, I'm glad that we start here because like I clear Patrick Stewart. I'm sorry to say. I don't think like if, if we normalize the ages if we went to you know if we took him at 34 versus me at 34 i don't know maybe it's it's even maybe he gets me by a bit the man it's not his fault he's like 90 years old i i'm i'm not saying i would completely demolish him but i think i could definitely completely demolish him ryan reynolds i mean like he wins there's no doubt about it am i running am i am i scared I'm going to say he can definitely beat me up, but I'm not running. One of the reasons I'm not running is because I think that he's mentally sane. He, he is, the movies he picks are too mid for him to be crazy. Like Tom Hardy, I'm, I know he's on here somewhere. Tom Hardy, I'm running, okay? Like this guy is crazy. He could kill me. Like he might want to kill me. 
Ryan Reynolds, I think he would just, once he, it was clear, he, I don't even know if he would strike me. I think he would just hold my hands behind my back and I would struggle for a bit and then I'd be like, okay, you got me. Now, I'm not uh, ashamed to admit, I'm not trying to overstate my own prowess. I could beat Adam Sandler in a fight for sure. It's, it's, I, it might be close just because we're both closer to the normal person than we are to like a professional athlete. He can ball. Yeah, but it's not who would win in 1v1 basketball. What are you talking about? Just people in chat are like, dude, he plays one versus one basketball all the time. What does that mean? Like, how would that? <laughs> you play, so what? He plays one versus one basketball all the time. He's got cardio. I got cardio too. You listen, I'm not insulting him. He's, he looks good for 56. I got 20 years of, of youth. And I think, I mean, I honestly think I'm in better shape. Not to be rude. Not to say that he's in bad shape. I saw Hustle with uh, Bo Cruz. I think I would definitely take him, okay? I would say, I mean, I'm going to say that I can beat him up. I'm not going to say I could demolish him. Because I, I really don't, unless somebody is like a child actor or they're 90, maybe 80, I don't think I'd demolish but I think I, I could beat Adam Sandler up. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> Listen, I was going to say draw, but then I remembered that I, I saw the trailer for Weird, and he has like a 12-pack, and he would, he would dust me, I think. I think he's like de deceptively, insanely shredded. So I think, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't feel... He's, he's really short, though. He's like 5'5". Five, five. I don't want to be victims, uh, or I don't want to be a perpetrator of hypocrisy. One of the, and listen, this is all just intellectual exercise, okay? It's not like an objective power level, but I get so annoyed when people are like, well, so people talk about like Dan and I boxing, and people, I'm like, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty close. They're like, Dan would cook you. He's like two inches taller than you. I'm like, two inches taller doesn't mean shit. Neither of us know how to fight. And also, Dan's shorter than me. I don't know, it's just he, like, puts his webcam so it covers more of his torso. People think Dan's tall, but he's not. He's, like, maybe, like, two centimeters shorter than me. But everybody, oh, people that, like, literally have never worked out in their life are like, dude, if, we, if I got in a fight with the flyweight champion of the world, I would totally cook them. I got, like, an 80-pound weight advantage. No, you wouldn't. They would beat your ass, Okay. So haven't you seen the video of, uh, of the mountain fighting uh, Conor McGregor and just throwing him around? Yeah, haven't you seen the video of the mountain deadlifting 1,100 pounds? You're not the mountain. Like, just, <laughs> like, uh, no disrespect, but you got to have a little bit of self-awareness. Just because, like, you're six foot and the person you're fighting has an eight-pack and they're 5'11", that doesn't mean you get the advantage, Okay. So what I, literally what I'm saying is that I think even if I have a few inches on Daniel Radcliffe and I'm taller, I don't think that that is enough to eliminate the eight pack, the eight pack difference. Plus, I don't know, something about like, I apologize is a little offensive. I'm not tall, but like sometimes be careful who you call short in middle school. Because then you see them like 10 years after high school graduation and they're like, I have a YouTube channel where I teach people how to get like 3% body fat. and Or they like, you know, like the same thing with guys who are like a little chubby in the eighth grade. And then you see them, uh, you know, on Facebook 15 years later and they're like a, a Navy SEAL or something like that. Like the things that people become, you know, sensitive about, sometimes they overcompensate in the other direction. And if it's a fist fight, that scares me. So anyway, I think Daniel Radcliffe clears me for sure. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to do myself a service and I'm only going to say probably, but I think I, it, it's probably on the border between definitely and probably. Tom Hardy, I'm running. There's no, there's no question I'm running because I think he's stronger than me and he's a little crazy. So that's not even like up for debate. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think I wouldn't want to, but I think I could definitely beat up Seth Rogen.
What do you mean no shot? Like, he's 10 years older. I, I'm not, you're, like, I much prefer saying someone's going to beat me up because, like, then I don't have to insult a stranger. When I was, but I have to call it like I see it, okay? I think, I think I've got conditioning on Seth Rogen. You know, I've mistreated my body at times in my life, but I, I'm not a habitual smoker. I mean, I, I think Seth Rogen versus Adam Sandler is like a fair fight. I, I think that could be a fight that would that that could go 12 rounds. So I got to put him in the same tier. I mean, it wouldn't go 12 rounds. I'm sure it would go one round. Like chess boxing taught me that, you know, unless you're insanely conditioned, like after you throw like your third punch, you're pretty much gassed. But could you outsmoke him? I, I wouldn't even like I wouldn't ruin the entertainment event of a who could smoke more weed show by going pretending to go up against Seth Rogen. I mean, if Physical 100 taught me anything, you don't have to be that scared of the guys who look... I mean, not to say that they wouldn't clear me because everyone on the show clears me easy, even the, the influencers. But, like, you don't have to be that scared of the bodybuilders because they get gassed super easily. But you should be really scared of, like, the, the mid-30s guy with two visible abs who's like, I was an Olympian 11 years ago. That dude is going to kill you. Steven Yun. <laughs> One of my favorite actors, certainly the, he, I, and, and this one's going to be tough. I think this might be a first draw, but honestly, I feel like it's disrespectful to give him a draw. I think Steven Yeun might be the actor right now where it's like, um, if I see that he's in a movie, I would see the movie just on that alone. He's good in everything. I, I know we went through this last week. We're not going to hold The Walking Dead against him. Because first off, anybody would take that role. And secondly, that's like, uh, you know, it was his big break. Did you say, I'm good at everything? You see, this is a, a suicide pass. In relationships, <laughs> this is called a suicide pass. My wife came in and said, did you say I'm good at everything? I thought you said Kate is good at everything. I didn't mention her name in the slightest, but how are you supposed to react to that question? You didn't say it? I did not say it. But you are good at, at many things, including many things I'm not good at. By the way, I'm not, no, I'm not getting hemmed into the corner like this. Thank you, thank you, librarian. She came in and said, she's, she's pouting. She's making like a pouty face. Her stream every day is just like an hour of slander. That is not oh, true. I cleaned the bathroom today and my husband's toilet had so much shit and piss on it everywhere. Like how could someone that. be so dirty? Oh, I literally every time he opens the fridge, there's like a new mess. It's like it's the and I can't he would try he spend 45 minutes trying to put together a, a toy from a Kinder Egg. Like it's just that's true, though. The first hour of her stream is just like it's a um, venting. No, 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 no. Now that you know your toilet is covered in poop and pee. That's where I poop and pee. <laughs> of course, it's, if anything's going to be covered in poop and pee, it should be should be the toilet. I'm getting a lot of plus twos there. That feels good. By roasting your own self? Yeah, well, I don't consider it a roast. The toilet gets ambient mess. As a, by, People in chat are like, how dirty is your toilet? I fucking guarantee you. <laughs> I cleaned it. Yeah, but even if you were, like, when you were away, I did not let the house get dirty because I've lived with you for, like, 10 years now. So like as soon as there's like, I, you let the mess get to like 5% and then you're like, I got to take it down. I let it get to like 10 and then I'm like, oh, I better do something. Because if she checks like the pet cam or something like that, she's going to be very <laughs> upset. The hell? We don't have a pet cam. Or like the, the baby cam in the, in the, in the nursery. Yeah. How am I going to check your toilet? I'm just saying, I don't, I, now I don't let the house get like dirty at all. People in chat that probably like have empty potato chip bags on the floor are like, how dirty is your toilet? Whoa, do you, do you miss when you pee? Do you pee on the seat? Don't even let me get, st this trash can overflowing with like used tissues and stuff like that. It doesn't even have a damn lid on it. No, no sheets on the bed. And the bed doesn't even have a box spring. It's just a mattress on the ground. Oh, no. You, got, you installed baby cam in their house? <laughs> <laughs> they, 
they hate it. Stop, stop. I've never seen chat move so fast. They love it. Tommy Wiseau is a crazy one. And I like, obviously, but he's like 60, but he's in great shape and he's insane. So I think that you should run. <laughs> but like, I think, I honestly think I could beat him. But then I don't know, because also wasn't he connected to like the the Croatian mafia or something like that? I don't know if he's like a, a black belt in Krav Maga or something like that. Like, I think I would, I'm not, I, if, if push came to shove, I think I would have an okay chance just due to the age difference mostly. But I think I would probably run because I think he's a little unstable. You know, like sometimes, like a, a I, I always think of in the ninth grade, the kid in our geography class who always like covered his eyes when there was a kissing scene in a movie, he was leaning backwards on his chair and then he fell backwards and hit his head on like the cement wall and he just started going like, I'm so fucking stupid, I fucking hate this, I'm so fucking dumb. That's the kind of energy I don't want to fight against. I want against I want to fight against somebody if I have to that has like a um like a stable life so that like I I I don't want to fight against the person that is like once they knock you over they're like this is where the fight begins. I want to fight against somebody who like they knock you over and then they go like this. And then they go, you know, do you yield? And I go, I yield, I yield. And they're like, "Okay, get up now. Like don't do that again." People said, how could you put Stiller here and Sandler here? You're crazy. Ben Stiller would wash Adam Sandler. Ben Stiller would take Adam Sandler 9 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. If you look at, at these two actors and you're like, oh, that's like they're roughly the same level, level of physical dominance, like you got to get your eyes checked at the Costco optometrist. He's not 78. He's 57. Okay, he might be short, but whatever. That does it. Honestly, I don't think being tall is a huge advantage in a normie fight. Because a short person, they hit lower on your center of gravity. It's easier to, for them to knock you over. It's easier for them to take your legs out. It's like throwing low kicks in Street Fighter. I'm realizing there's not a lot of people I wash <laughs> in, the, in the remainder of the list. Oh my God, why don't you just marry a basketball? Ben Stiller doesn't do well in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Okay, was that who could I take on the hard court? I mean, if I had to guess, the list would look pretty similar. I would definitely demolish Patrick Stewart in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Sandler would crush me. I'd probably go even with, with Rogan, maybe less than even. Seems like he might play some Hollywood basketball for all I know. I don't think I'm taking too many people in basketball, honestly, because Ben Stiller played basketball in The Cable Guy, or he directed the basketball scene at least. I think, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I think Stiller clears Franco, the Dave variety, Franco parentheses Dave. And the reason is, because maybe I'm putting way too much, I, I listen, I think you guys are all thinking of Ben Stiller, the secret life of Walter Mitty. Um, excuse me, Kristen Wiig, it would really change my life if, um, we could, uh, if you would be so kind as to let me, um, pay for your dinner one night, oh, please. I'm thinking of, of Ben Stiller as Tug Speedman in Tropic Thunder with the like machine gun in one hand and no shirt and he's like glistening. It, hey, who left the fridge open? That's who I'm thinking of. It was not decades ago. It was one... This is like Justin saying that 24 hours is two days. It was 15 years ago. That's not decades. That's 1.5 decades it's not almost two decades. It's 75% of the way to the minimum amount of time that constitutes two decades. It's, it's not my fault that we pluralize on 0.5. We pluralize on 1.0000000001. It's definitely closer to, to one decade than it is to two decades at that point. It's not the, the English language, you know, pluralizing as soon as you get even one infinitesimal increment 
over one, that doesn't mean that it's a mathematical argument. How old are you? Oh, I'm 0.1 decades old. Oh, so more than one decade because you pluralized? How old are you? Zero days old. Oh, so more than one day, huh? Like, what are you even talking about? According to Chad, like the second after your 10th birthday, guess what? Get a job. You're 20. I'm an ESL teacher. This is a great form of consternation for my students. Listen, I was only an ESL teacher for a year, and I was not really qualified for it. But I feel like in the early classes, you just were like, just learn it. For my more advanced students, sometimes they'd be like, Teacher, why do we say this? Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? And I'd have to like, listen, kid. Nobody knows. Nobody knows at all. It's not, life is not fair. I learned all this shit because like I grew up only speaking English, watching English media, so it gets baked in. You gotta learn it because your parents wanna send you to like, uh, uh, you know, if not an Ivy League, at least one of the universities of California. Like, I, I, listen, we've all got our own cursed load to pull in this life, okay? You just gotta remember it. Okay, this is the guy, he's the bad boyfriend from Midsummer. I mean, I think he clears me, for sure. I feel bad just saying the same thing over and over, but like, what do you want me to, what do you want me to say? Well, you know what, I'm now like, he's, he's buff. He's a horrible boyfriend though. If the list was like, who could be a better boyfriend to Florence Pugh, then like, I would definitely clear him. That wouldn't even be like close because he's very insensitive. What's his name? It's Jack something. Jack from Midsummer. Height, 1.83 meters. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All other things being equal, and they're not equal because I'm sure that he's probably in better shape than me to begin with. The height probably pushes him over even further, sure. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm going to put him in probably, but I think it's probably closer to definitely. I honestly think I can take Will Poulter. I think he's taller than me, but he's a little skinnier. Plus, like, I saw him when he was, like, 10 years old in a movie called Son of Rambo. And I was, like, 20, and he was, like, 10. And that's just kind of, like, where his strength is anchored in my brain. He tanked up. He's jacked now. What the hell, dude? I should have done this list, like, last year. Oh, I don't know. I was still chubby back then. Hang on. Will Poulter, 2022. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot, he's got the, he's in the damn, oh, no, dude, he's in the Marvel movies, I forgot, uh, toast, a couple of years ago, we might have had a chance, but yeah, you know what, I think he probably takes me now, I forgot, he's Adam Warlock, right, I think this list is not that bad, there's no doubt that, like, come on, there's no debate here, I'm rinsing Patrick, I'm sorry, it, it, it's they put us up against one another. I didn't want to do it. This tier, I mean, anybody. The only Adam Sandler strength that people have posted is that he plays a lot of basketball. It doesn't matter to me at all. Seth Rogen, I think he's like me ten years in the future. I think I I probably clear him right now. Seth Rogen is way stronger than you. What are you talking about? Weed lungs? That's literally like it's the opposite of how it works, man. What about Christian Bale? What do you mean? It's like saying, what about God? Like, of course, Christian Bale would rinse me without a doubt. What about Dwayne The Rock Johnson? What do you think? Oh, I'd say he could probably get me. All right. I mean, I, click. I think this is accurate. We should, I, if I learned anything from Coney's social media account, we should put this image on Twitter to farm some uh, outrage. Tier lists on Twitter are so funny because literally I never look at them. I, I think that everybody's like this but I never look at them and go like oh I 80% agree with that I start at the bottom tier and then look for the first thing that pisses me off and then start typing the reply I'm like really sour patch kids D tier are you crazy even if I agree with literally everything else it's like something wrong with the human brain I still don't get the Seth Rogen placement are you under the impression that, like, Seth Rogen is, is strong? Like, he was in the comedian tier. There were, like, uh, 
Everybody else has, has done like action movies. He's just a he's just a guy. He did the Green Hornet twelve years ago, and now he's making a bunch of you know clay pots, and then smoking them. This is a crazy start, okay? Because like if I'm getting up close and personal with a panda, I'm done. But how, if I don't get close to a panda, how is it gonna kill me? It's a fight. I mean, I, I, I feel like I could just keep my distance and then like, like grab a stick or something and just keep poking it with the stick until it dies. It might take 10 years. But I, I like a bear, all, I'm willing to admit, okay, a bear is no shot. Like a grizzly bear kills me. A panda, I mean, I, it, I only lose versus a panda if I give up. Panda sprints as fast as a, as a regular bear? What are you talking about? Panda top speed. The Fiat Panda. I'm not talking about the Fiat Panda. I'm talking about the Panda Bear. It's 140 miles an hour. <laughs> panda Bear speed. A giant panda can travel at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. Okay, for how long? Okay, this is not fair. The Usain Bolt of pandas stuns a driver with its lightning speed. The average moving speed of a wild panda is 88.3 feet per hour. That's fucking nothing, dude. Just take the L. You, nobody can explain to me how a panda is going gonna, is gonna to kill me. It has claws? No, yeah, but how is it going to catch me? It's a fight, not a race. I'm just, I'm keeping my distance. I'm assuming, doesn't a panda sleep like 20 hours a day? I'm keeping my distance. Eventually it gets tired. It falls asleep. And then I just fucking like do like a, a drop knee, like right on its, its temple or something like that, or its windpipe. Like I, I would have to be an idiot to go up and be like, okay, panda, like it's just going to grab me and tear my head off. But how is, how is it going to beat me if I don't do that? We didn't say it was a cage match. We said it was in the physical 100 little, like the, the circle arena. It runs up to you. I can outrun a panda. It's not like, oh, now we're setting up all these arguments. Like, oh, you're both seated at a chair and you start with your hands grabbing like it's an arm wrestle. How long can you outrun a panda? I, I honestly think I can outrun a panda as long as it takes. There's no way a panda has any stamina. Giant pandas in the wild would never attack people for... Okay, but let's assume it's like rabbit or something. Can a human beat a panda? Pandas are stronger than most men, and their teeth are, and claws are dangerous. Yeah, no shit. Pandas spend most of their time in trees eating bamboo or sleeping. How fast is a panda? Pandas can sprint at 32 kilometers an hour. Yes, but for how long? Because I'm, I'm going to imagine they could do that for like less than 30 seconds. I mean, you have to remember. <laughs> how are they going to... How does the panda know it's a fight? Like, like, just listen, okay? Before you say that that's cheating. What, are they going to like mind control it? There's some animals here. Like a wolf. If you put me in like a, a, a room with a wolf... That's a carnivore. That's a hunter. It's a predator. I'm in a lot of trouble, okay? Like, we're fighting. But if you put me in a room with, with a panda, I don't think that it, that it knows that we're going to town. Maybe when it gets hungry, it, goes, uh, it starts to go a little violent, but there's like an, it has a docile and sedated attitude. I don't think you're going to create a situation easily where, like, the panda's going to rush me. It's not mental gymnastics. It's like when I fight the shark... I'm not going to be like, oh, so it's a cage match. I'm fighting a shark on land. I'll just wait for it to drown. Like, I'm trying to meet it in a reasonable sense. You know, I'm not going to walk up to a, a panda and be like, let's grapple. The panda's going to rip me in two. At the same point, the panda's not going to be like, okay, uh, the humans can use their superior brains to bring in, like, a gun, okay? So I, I'm just saying this one's, like, it, it's, it's close. Just because, like... I don't, I don't know. I just don't see it killing me. I don't see me killing it, but I don't see it killing me. I don't see it catching me. I, I, after it catches me, I'm toast, but I don't see it catching me. I don't see me killing the panda. I think it's just like a, 
I think this is a, a draw. I, no winner. It's like in Dark Souls, when like you have perfect dodges, but your weapon does no damage, and you go up against something with a huge health bar. I'm not killing it. It's not killing me. That's just like, it's over. It's the main event. Um, if, I'm, if I have a chance against any bear, it would be a black bear, right? Those are the smaller ones. I'm not taking a polar bear. I'm not taking a brown bear. I'm not taking a grizzly bear. Panda, I, I can't win. They can't win. I think it's definitely not 50-50. I'm not sure it's an easy L. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Hang on. Can I get the, the tail of the tape on a, on a black bear here? Black. Can a human beat a black bear? No way. Absolutely not. Bears are way bigger than humans and are better armed with sharp claws and 1,000 PSI bite force. Yeah, but it's not PSI. It's like in a ring. Can you beat a black bear? If you see a black bear, try to escape to a secure place. No, no kidding. <laughs> me, me looking up, uh, can I defeat a black bear in combat in the middle of the forest? If I ever see a, a black bear in a parking lot, my ass is getting in my car, but I don't think that happens too much. If escape is not possible, fight back. Concentrate your kicks and blows on the bear's face and muzzle. How much stronger is a black bear than a human? They are five times stronger than the average human. A black bear could kill a single person with a swipe. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to go easy L. I think it could catch me, and once it catches me, it's over. Fair enough. A dog? <laughs> It really depends on the dog. Most of the dogs I see in Vancouver, it's over. You could just pick them up and toss them against the wall or something. But like, I don't know, man. I'd have to, honestly, <laughs> I get the idea that like, you know, like a German Shepherd would, would rinse me. But like how? It's so much smaller than I am. What about the dog in the picture? I'm just going to say it. Like, I wouldn't feel good about it, but I think I, I beat the dog in the picture. Maybe it's partly because he's got his tongue out and his ears are down instead of like, Arr! maybe then I'd be like, you know, I'd be more scared. I mean, it's not a pigeon. Like, I, I, I think I got to go probably win against this dog. If I'm being real with you, I, I think it would be hard to kill a goat. But I don't think a goat could kill me. Like, this is, not, this is naive, and maybe delusion is something that human beings are great at. But I just, I'm playing the movie in my head. I don't see a world where, like, a goat hits me enough with his head and its horns to kill me. If it had, like, a unicorn horn, sure. But, like, the ones that are they're, they're in the backside, like, what's he's going to come over and, like, do? I'll just, I'll simply move out of the way. I'm not, I mean, I would, my adrenaline would be pumping. It's not like I'm going up against an ant. I think I, I'm going to give this, this might be the most insane so far. I think I probably win. I think I probably escape with some injuries, maybe, maybe some bad ones. It could be a 50-50. Like here, I think it would be hard to kill a goat. I think it would take a long time with, with just my bare fists. But I just don't see the goat killing me, man. It just doesn't strike me as, as a reality like that that movie doesn't play out like that in the real world. Kangaroo. Listen, I know this is a little hypocritical. I would previously I would say easy L. After people have told me that the video where he punches the kangaroo in the face to save his dog is not uh edited if that's true and you can stun a kangaroo with one well-placed blow 
I'm inclined to put in the kangaroo and I'd probably lose. It's not like I'm going to win, but it's not like, like if I punched a, a, a bear in the face, it's just going to eat me. If I, you know, try to punch a crocodile in the face, it's going to eat me. If I punch a giraffe, he's not even going to notice that I punched him. He's just going to step on my chest and, and cave it in. Like a kangaroo, the dude punches it in the head and it like rears back and then it sort of like freezes. I, I think that there's at least a chance. It's, it's not like a, I'm not getting massacred. I don't think it's 50-50. I think it might be like 80-20 that the kangaroo takes me. Maybe even 90-10. But like, the, we have physical video evidence. It's like when Xerxes bleeds in 300, okay? We, we know that even a kangaroo can be dazed. There's at least a shot. You might have to XCOM it, but uh, a raccoon, not even close. That's an easy dub. There's no, a, a raccoon stands no chance. I'm sorry. I would not take pleasure in doing any of this, okay? I'm just saying, put same tier as dog. You're nuts if you think like a dog and a raccoon are even close. A dog rinses a raccoon any day. In the warehouse, at least. If they're fighting inside a garbage can or something, then I don't know. <laughs> I still give the advantage to the dog, honestly. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe it would go differently for you. I'm not dying to a raccoon in a fight. I could, like, get mauled to death by a goat, and at least my family could show their faces at my funeral. They'd be like, it's a little weird, but, like, it's an accident. If they were like, he died fighting a raccoon, like, it's a ghost town, man. Nobody's reading my eulogy. Just kick my body like into a ditch or something and burn rubber. I, I understand that like the L's are like scientific almost. I'm like looking up bite force and, and mass. And then the dubs are like, I just don't see it going down like that. I'm sorry to say, I just don't see it going down like that. I just can't imagine. I feel like I would hear stories about like a man died in a toucan accident if this actually happened. Is it, is it one in a thousand that it could beat me? Sure, maybe it's one in a thousand. But like, he's done. It's, I'm, I'm rinsing him. I'm sorry. All the birds would fly away. We're in a closed warehouse. They got to land at some point, okay? As long as all the windows are closed, it's over. Then what about the panda? I'm telling you, I think that there's a situation where the panda falls asleep and I land a debilitating knee strike on its windpipe. I think I just keep my distance from the panda. Then when it falls asleep, I, I drop a little Anderson Silva on it. And then maybe it, it doesn't take on the first one, but then we start the dance all over again for another couple days. One swipe and you're done. He's got to catch me first. You're like all the bodybuilders on Physical 100. Oh, I'm the strongest man in Gyeongsan Bukdo province. The challenge is bend over for 45 seconds and pick up some Lego pieces that fell on the carpet. Oh, fuck. The panda, it, 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 it might have speed, but it's got no stamina, man. If it was, which animals can bench press more than you? The panda's got me. It's, I'm just saying there's a chance. <laughs> I think there's a chance. How big is the warehouse? It's big enough for me to notice a panda is sprinting at me and then get to speed until it gets gassed, which I have to imagine happens in less than one minute. Sloth? Sloth might be the largest animal that I could definitely kill. It has no chance. Like, I, I actually don't know what it could do. I, would, I, would, I think I would just pick it up and throw it on the ground over and over. I feel bad. Like, I don't know what I could... I don't know what it could do. It has no chance. I wouldn't want to. I'm just saying. Move fox down. You're crazy. I would own a fox. It, would be, it wouldn't even be close. I might get hurt, but, like, you can get hurt a lot before you die. Like, there are some of these animals I could beat in a fight without sustaining any injury. 
A fox, I might get bitten a couple times, draw blood. Sure, there would be pain involved, but like I would, it would be over. A wolf. Let me be very clear. I think the wolf rinses me. But I do think that there is a chance. Not a high chance. But I at least think that there is like a... There's a 5 to 10% chance I take one wolf in a fight. I'm not an expert in fighting animals. I'm going to assume that when the wolf comes to strike me, I have to basically counter it with a well-placed kick to the, the face with my blundstones. And then it'll like whimper and fall over on its side. And then I put my elbows like that and go, fall right on top of it. And then it'll start like coughing and stuff. And then I'm, then we're going sloth style. I'm picking it up over my head and going, boo, boo. But in nine out of 10 situations, I think the wolf probably gets me. You're not lifting a wolf? 80 kilograms? I think I could, I, listen, I don't think I could lift it over my head. Now that, it, now that you're telling me it's 80 kilograms. I think I could get it off the ground. I think I could, I could get it like in, in something like braced on my stomach like this. And then I think I could go like, whoo, and like heave it or something like that. And it might fall weird. I think I could take it either way. Not, I'm not putting it in probably win, by the way. This is probably lose. Emphasis on the lose, not on the probably. Now I'll tell you, I think this shit would be tragic to watch, but there is no world in which I lose a fight to this pig. But I think it would be like brutal. It would be like hours of me wailing on this thing. Pigs bites break bones. It's not biting me. I'm sorry to tell you it's not getting there. This, at least this guy, this guy's not getting there. Maybe a, a pig in the wild, a wild boar, sure. This guy, no shot. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. He's 600 pounds. I know. He's 300 pounds. I know. They can run 30 miles an hour. Not this one. I'm willing to give you... I'm, I'm going to take this down to probably, okay? I just don't see it going down like this. How are you going to kill him? Repeated kicks to the snout and skull. How is he going to kill me? He's going to sit on you? I'll, I'll move. Bite your foot? No chance. I have a very wide top of my foot. It wouldn't fit in his, like, in his angled mouth. It will push you to the ground? It's not going to go down like that. I'm sorry. Like, this is not a bull. Like, you picture me like getting in a ring with a bull? The bull's going to torch me. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not losing. I'm sorry. This is not a 50-50. There's no way I'm losing to this pig. Maybe if they picked like a champion of the, the porcine species, I'd be a little more scared. But this guy, there's no way. Like, are you going to tell me that the, that the pig beats the dog easily? Or are you going to say that the dog beats the pig? Because my assumption is that the dog probably beats the pig too. The dog beats the, the pig beats the dog easy? You guys are insane. Or maybe you're right, and I'm insane. I don't know. It's like 5x the weight. Okay, who would you take in a fight? Uh, a 150-pound mixed martial artist or the world's heaviest man? The world's heaviest man? Okay, so you're just, like, wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same. I just don't see me dying to this pig. I'm sorry. I, I just don't see it happening. I don't, I don't think it's got the... I don't think it has the tools in its toolbox to take me out. Please Google sumo versus featherweight. Yeah, but that's not the same either. This thing's not a wrestler. It's just a pig. Like a, a sumo wrestler trains his whole life to, you know, generate pushing power. This dude just sits around and like eats like apple cores and stuff like that and <laughs> mud. <laughs> You're not an athlete either? 
No, I know, but I'm just saying like this. I'm a pig. I don't know. If if this pig thinks he's beating me, he's never seen a guy like me before. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like I could I could beat it in a straight line speed test. I could I could circle around it, Dark Souls style. I could um, I could jump and then plant both my feet right on its spine. I could deliver kicks to its to its entire body. It's got so many weak points. Pigs eat people. Yeah, in like Snatch, when they have like a, a room full of pigs with no escape, there's like 20 pigs, they throw in a dude who's been shot in the leg into like the pig pen or something, and then they get eaten. There's no way, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm sorry, I don't see myself losing to this. Well, you know what? You're right, let me, I'll Google it. That's been our saving grace here. It depends a lot on the pig. Typically, a domesticated market hawk doesn't live more than six months. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm being honest. This does not look like a domesticated market hog to me, but I'm not a pig expert. Within that time, it grows from a two to three pound piglet into a 300 pound animal. That's a lot of muscle. Even without tusks, it would take quite a bit to subdue an animal like that. We happen to breed domesticated swine as a hobby for local 4-H kids. One of our sows turned into a pet and grew significantly. Right now she weighs 600... Who asked? She is the sweetest animal, but if she wanted to, she could crush, destroy a human. Her neck is thicker than my trunk. Okay, well, it's not about Sally or whatever. If it's your regular pig, a human will have pork chops for dinner. I saw a huge farm pig get knocked out by a regular fit man by punching it in the jaw. Where the hell did this happen, man? Your man punched a pig in the face? Farm pig gets turned into pork chops or bacon. A boar would turn a human into ground beef. Someone needs to teach this dude a little bit about the, the grocery section. Any large pig is very heavy and solidly built with powerful jaws too. Realistically, even men that can fight will be timid around an aggressive wild animal. They'll kick out frantically, realize the pig is pretty tough, and lose footing or get knocked over. What the, is this guy like who works for the CIA or something? Why are you talking like that? Humans are lucky most animals don't act particularly aggressive towards us because most decent animals with teeth could do some serious damage. Yeah, it's lucky for the humans that there's not more aggressive animals out there. I don't know what we would do if all the pigs uh, started to just attack us. Oh, I know what we would do. We would wipe their species off the face of the planet in six months. They would be plucked from the, the evolutionary tree and the line would never uh, make any more leaves. We're lucky. Not, you know, honestly, I think it's the pigs are lucky they're not more aggressive, quite frankly. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. Listen, after reading all that, I'll pull it down to 50-50. I just don't see him. Well, I don't know why. Like None of these focus on like what humans can do. They're like, pigs can grow up to uh, 700 pounds and run up to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, well, humans can grow up to 1,000 pounds and run 30 miles an hour. Plus, we've got fucking huge brains that invented the damn nuclear bomb. We gotta, oh, some humans can even digest airplane parts in their stomach. Like, it's just, if we're comparing, like, all the extremes of the species as if they all exist at the same time, you would be like, humans, they clear, like, every animal. There was even a story of a man who ate nothing but glass. Now, porcupine, I'm sorry to say, it's dead. It would hurt a lot. But, like, there's no chance it's, it's beating me in a fight. What is this logic? What do you mean? How is a porcupine going to kill my ass? I'll just kick it like a soccer ball. It's a draw? Do you have no will to live? Is you or the porcupine? You're going to be like, guess that's it for me. I had a good run. I get that they're really spiky. I'm not saying it wouldn't hurt. Oh, here we go again. One porcupine killed a lion. Now all of a sudden, okay, who you got? A lion versus a porcupine. Who you got? You're putting your life savings down. Hey, did you know one person won the lottery once? I'm going porcupine. You guys are you're so stupid. 
Maybe you lose to a porcupine. There's no world I lose to a porcupine. I'd be miserable afterwards, but I'm happy with this list, honestly. I mean, like, everything in easy win, I'm sorry. There's no chance. The only one that might have a chance is the fox. And even then, I'm putting it at sub 1%. Everything else is, is torched. I'm telling you, the honestly, weakest animal in here, I guess, is the dog. I'm sorry to say. Mankind 50-50. That's just back of the napkin calculation. I just, to be honest, I think I'm more likely to kill a wolf than a camel. I don't see how I'm killing a camel. I do think that the, it, it's like no chance. <laughs> it's, all these are pretty rough. Insane take? Bro, how am I, how am I killing a camel? Look at his neck. How am I going to kill this camel? Break its legs? Are you crazy? How are you going to... like? Why is so much of this predicated upon the idea that like, I'll stand still while a panda gores my stomach open and eats my organs, and then the animal will stand still and let me have like a free shot? We're, we're going to be moving here. There's, there's no way I'm... I'm executing like a perfect kick on a camel's kneecap and, and breaking its leg in one hit, okay? Maybe if it was turn-based, I'd have a chance. But I, I don't see myself dealing a lethal blow to this guy, but maybe. How are you killing a wolf? We went over this. It attacks me. While it's leaping, I execute a perfect, um, like I meant to kick your phone style, kick right to his uh, snout. And then he falls over on his side and I hit him with an elbow drop on, the, on his soft tissue. I'm not, I, I think the wolf gets me, but I'm saying there's a chance. There's a chance I take the wolf. There's, I, I could not kill a giraffe if it was trying not to die. Crocodile rinses me. Bear, I looked at it and I was deluding myself. There's no chance. Dolphin, it, it takes me. Like I, I, anything underwater, is, it's almost impossible for me to generate the force to kill it. Komodo dragon, I'm born a year of the dragon, but I don't think that counts for much. Chimpanzee, when it comes to fighting, is literally just like a better human. Moose is uh, like five goats merged into one. Rhino is literally armored and has spikes on it. I thought there was a chance here until it turns out that this thing eats penguins and uh, weighs 700 pounds. Shark and, uh, and sperm whale... It's just an, an octopus for that matter. It's just the wrong environment. Walrus, I mean, you can see it for yourself. Cow, I just don't see myself. I don't, I don't think that I... I, don't, I think it would take a cow a little bit to kill me. I'd have to slip or something, but I think it would happen faster than I'm killing a cow with my bare hands. Listen, I think the panda's the most... Uh, <laughs> it's the most divisive of all of these. Snake kills both of us. Because when he bites me, that's my moment to shatter his neck and he releases his venom and I'm dead. Um, turtle, I don't think we could kill each other. I think we would have to agree to draw. Like underwater. On land, I would just, I don't know, tip him over and then jump on his underside or something. Jellyfish, I don't see me generating enough force to tear it in half and I don't see it killing me either. And then Panda, I, I honestly... With, with complete genuineness in my heart, I don't see how it kills me if I don't want to die. I don't think it's catching me. If we got into a fist fight, the panda would clear me. It would be on the level of like the, the I don't even know. It might be on the level of like the great white shark or something. Like it would, it would destroy me. But I don't, I don't see the panda... I don't see it catching me. Did you see the video of the panda attacking someone at the zoo? Okay, someone is doing a lot of work here. First off, was the panda loose and running them down in a warehouse style arena? Or did somebody fall into what could aptly be described as an enclosure? And also is someone, it actually was? Oh, okay, <laughs> well, never mind then. Listen. I'm not going to say, like, why, you, pandas get the benefit of, like, oh, the greatest panda ever was so fast. 
But then like a panda that's in the Cincinnati Zoo or something like that, you know, he's just sitting there eating bamboo. He's not training for the Olympics, okay? Meanwhile, I have to uh, reconcile the dumbest idiots in my species. Hey, did you see the dude with the 47 IQ who jumped into the panda enclosure and got mauled to death? My ass, do not compare me with him. I have a 102 IQ, okay? It's significantly above average according to online tests. My ass would never jump into the panda enclosure. You're not dealing with the same kind of individual here. A panda jaw could crack your head wide open? Never said it couldn't. I'd just, I'd, I'd like to see it catch me. That's all I'm saying. I'd like to see it catch me. I don't, I, I don't think it is catching me. It sprints at 30 kilometers an hour for, for the smallest quanta of measurable time. Until I, all I want to see is a panda's strive score. Are you telling me, what, who is faster in a 100 meter dash? Usain Bolt or a panda? People would be like a panda. Yeah, but what's the longest you've ever seen a panda run for? Six meters. That's not fair. Is running away a strat? People were here for the whole thing. We run away from the panda until it tires out. Eventually, it's going to go to sleep. It's going to aptly reconcile that I'm not a valid threat, so it's going to feel safe. And then I get some time to plan, and I like try to deliver a devastating knee strike to its windpipe or maybe like the side of its head or something like that. And then it's going to wake up probably because I, I doubt the first one's going to finish the job and it's going to be mad and then we're going to start the song and dance all over again. It might take a few weeks. But I, I honestly, the human spirit is an amazing thing. And the panda spirit, like no disrespect, but they can't even be motivated to procreate to keep their species going reminds me of uh, my fellow millennials anyway except they're not so sanctimonious about it pandas will just be like uh i don't want to millennials are like do you know the carbon footprint that a seven-year-old has on the planet hey good news there's another um <laughs> animals i would beat in a fight tier list this one you know what It's got some of the same animals, but that just means we can rank them even faster, okay? Zebra. I'm not going to use the last category. I don't think that's fair. Zebra. I kind of see zebra like it's a, a weaker rhino. Um, but I still, much, much like a camel, I still don't see a world in which I can deliver a lethal blow to a, to a zebra. Why not horse? Because we didn't rank horse in the previous quiz. I'm using it as a relative jumping off point. You need to extend your attention span like longer than 30 seconds. I'm not saying it's most similar animal on planet Earth is, is a rhino. I'm saying that it's most similar animal to the one that we've ranked here was a, was a rhino. Fine, I'll pay attention. Okay, thank, thank God. Giraffe makes more sense? Leave, leave my chat, I'm sorry. If you're going to be that pedantic about uh, arguments in a what animal would I beat in a fight list, why didn't you say camel then? Leave, you're not on, you don't deserve to watch this. I'm sorry. You don't deserve, if you were laughing and then you said you made a, a slight continuity error, you don't deserve to be here. Go watch something worse. Goodbye. I don't, I don't, I don't support you watching this. Go. Okay. Now, now that all the adults are here, this wolf, to me, it looks a little bit more menacing to the pre than the previous wolf. I think it would be a close one, but I'd lose. I think I'd lose. I'm not saying I would win, but I don't think the wolf would be like, that was fun. I feel like the wolf would be like, oh, shit. Like, I'm glad I got him. If it's in a pack, you're toast. Okay, and if it's one and I'm in a pack, it's toast. Deer over wolf? I honestly, I mean, listen, it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> this is why there's rock, paper, and scissors. If the game was just rock, paper, your ass would be throwing paper all the time, okay? But, like, I think I am more likely to beat a wolf than beat a deer. In, a, in, in just unarmed combat? Yes. Now, what wins between wolf and deer? I think that wolf beats deer easily. If I had the teeth of a wolf, 
I would do better against a deer, but I don't. I got these little like peanut mashers here. But like, I think it's, it's just in my head, it seems easier for a human to deliver a lethal blow to a wolf than it does to deliver a lethal blow to a deer. Like, because I, I think, the, how do humans generate force? Our best weapon is our feet, right? We, we kick them. You could kick a wolf in the stomach. I'm not kicking a deer in the stomach. His stomach is like four feet off the ground. I'm not kicking it in the head. It's like seven feet tall. Like, there's no chance. I'm not going <laughs> to... Yes, the deer is specced for defense. Like, this is, this is like a war of attrition. This is a heavyweight knockout. I, I, no question, if it was who beats a deer in a fight, wolf clears it, no doubt. But I think I'm more like, I think I'm, I lose to both in my opinion. But I think I, I'm more likely as a human being to kill a wolf than kill a deer. Now in the forest, what would I rather see? I'd rather see a deer because it's scared of me. If I saw a wolf, I would be like, oh shit. Like I'm much more likely to get eaten by a wolf. You can basically rip a bird in half with your bare hands. And I know that because I get rotisserie chickens from Costco now and then. If you're too lazy to carve it, you can just dig right in, brother. I mean, I guess that's cooked flesh, but, you know. <laughs> you get the idea. All the other birds that we've had to deal with um, have been very small, non-threatening birds. An eagle, so it's a genuine predator. And I think that, I mean, like, you, the eagle comes down and tussles with you. He does some damage to you. You do some damage to him. He flies away. You're like, I fucking hate this dude. Just come down here and give me a fair fight. But I think, I, I think that, I mean, maybe this is egotistical. I don't realistically think it would be a close one. I think, I think they would get a few bites in. I think they would draw blood. I think I would be hurt. But I don't think they would ever be in danger of killing me. How is an eagle going to kill me? It has sharp talons. Literally, if it starts to claw at, at my face, I'll just wrap my arms around it, pull it down to my stomach in one fluid motion, and then fall over on top of it and just squeeze. It's over. It's done. They're strong AF. Yeah, not, not as strong as a human being. It's that easy. Dude, if, if eagles were as smart as us, you'd think they'd be having the same conversation. I think I could definitely beat a human. Bro, how? I'd use my sharp claws to uh, tear open their belly so their organs fell out. Oh, really? And while you're doing that, they're with their huge chests and arms and brains, they're just going to let you do that, huh? You don't think they're going to use their opposable thumbs to grab your skull and just crush it? Did you know human beings are capable of running at up to 60 kilometers an hour and deadlifting 1,400 pounds? There's even been reports of human females lifting cars off of their babies when their adrenaline hits. But sure, okay, you're, gonna, you're just going to run down there and with one swipe, you're going to cut open his jugular vein. Okay, I'm telling you, I clear an eagle. It would hurt. Like, it's not like a lobster. Like a lobster, I would like invite people over. An eagle, I would be like, this is a movie for real. <laughs> it's a panda again. <laughs> this, any bird that looks like this, there's, there's simply no chance I would paint the walls in their blood. Um, I have to say, listen, the same thing with the turtle. I said the turtle last time was a draw because the draw was open. No draw this time. If I had to bet, Overall, I would say I'd get a few hits. If there's no chance for a draw, the panda beats me. I, I have no way to kill it. But I do think I do some damage. Like, who wins versus wolf versus panda? I feel like a wolf beats a panda. Like, wouldn't a panda not even know that the fight was happening until the, <laughs> until the battle's already over? <laughs> panda easily? I don't know, man. Isn't that why they're all in the zoo? So they don't just get like eaten by like insects and bugs and shit? I'm sorry, what the fuck is this placement of the wolf? Apollo, I'm just saying, I, I, people are saying I'm crazy. I know that a wolf 
can kill a deer easily. They're probably one of the, the deer's most common predators. But I just, it seems more likely to me, it seems more real. By the way, I'm saying I would lose. I'm just saying that I'd lose more easily against a deer because I don't know how I would kill a deer. I could, one single solitary wolf, I think there's a chance that I could kick it in the head and go to town. One good strike right to the, the wolf temple and then just like no mercy, maybe I get lucky. A deer, I just don't see how I generate like the Newtons required to, to end its life. You snap its neck. You're so stupid. It's driving me crazy. How are you going to mount a deer like Hidalgo mid-stride, grab its horns and generate enough force to, to break its neck? That's madness. <laughs> QTE. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe if you're Legolas. I think, I think it's like rock, paper, scissors. Maybe I beat Wolf. Wolf definitely beats deer and deer definitely beats me. But that, it's like rock, paper, scissors if scissors had like a 70 to 90% chance to beat rock <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, you know what? You're right. The eagle should go down one. I still think I win. Well, it's like, I'm, I think I'm being too literal. I'm not saying that a ferret and an eagle are like the same strength. All I'm saying is like, a, I think an eagle would do more damage to me, but it could never get the accretive value to kill me. It could deliver a lot of superficial damage. Now, I think that a ferret could do a little superficial damage. Like, all these ones, I'm not even getting bruised. I'm just squeezing my fist and it's over for them. I would rather fight like a llama than a, than a deer, but I do feel like it's kind of hard for me to deliver like a killing blow. So I think I would put it in like wolf tier. I think I would lose just, and again, you'd be like, really? Llama and wolf in the same tier? Well, here's the deal. I think if I lose to a wolf, I lose in like under 30 seconds. The llama, I just don't think, it's like a war of attrition. Like, I think this fight could go on for a couple days, but there's just no way for me to finish the job. So I think eventually I just lose. Like, I think the wolf, if my power level is like normalized at like, a, pardon me, 100, and then like a gorilla is like, 500 and a lobster is one a wolf is like 175 very very strong chance to to kill me but maybe there's a chance a llama is like 102 but its defense value is like overstated like there's no way for me to kill it i literally made up the numbers and the scale and someone said it's actually more like 225 what is wrong with you? <laughs> I invented it three seconds ago. It's not real. You know what it is? It's like... I, I'm looking at this... You guys are looking at it like a Goku versus Vegeta power level thing. I'm looking at uh, like a lot more like a US presidential election, okay? And like the, the, there's different matchups here. Like, sure, if you put, like, candidate A up against candidate C, candidate A clears them. But that doesn't mean that I do better against candidate C than I do against candidate A, because there's different, them, the different candidates appeal to different states which have different electoral values, which have, like, you know what I mean? He's actually right. I know! That's, I, I finally, it took me a couple hours, but I finally found, like, a good metaphor for it. It's like, you know, sure, maybe Joe Biden beats Trump in 2020. And then we, you're like, oh, really? But you got like uh, Pete Buttigieg up here. And I'm like, yeah, well, Pete Buttigieg, he might not be the guy if the guy he's going up against is the deer. But maybe if Pete Buttigieg is going up against the Komodo dragon, then that's what you need in 2024. I don't like you just need there's different. You got to evaluate them all on an on A versus B versus C versus, you know, you got to evaluate them all against each other. You can't just do like, oh, really? So like you think a, a sea turtle could actually kill like a, a, a flying animal? No, I think I could kill both of them. That's the important part. Now, could I kill what to me appears to be? Listen, it doesn't matter whether it's a leopard or a cheetah. <laughs> I think that I'm probably dead in both ways. 
Cheetah, you could hit it, but you'd likely lose. Cheetahs are weak. There's no shot, dude. Cheetahs are beatable. <laughs> really? Hang on. Who would win? I love that all of these come up with real results, by the way. Who would win in a fight? Cheetah or human? Wow. From the healthyjournal.com. While cheetahs are stronger and faster than you, you still have a fighting chance if you're being attacked. It's possible for humans to win a fight, a fight against a leopard, as in the case... I know this says leopard, but this is just the first result. As in the case of 56-year-old woman who killed an attacking leopard with a sickle and a spade and survived with heavy injuries, and the case of a 73-year-old man who fatally tore the tongue out of a leopard. Okay, the, the first one is invalidated based on weapons. The second one is fucking crazy. <laughs> it's... Ripped out the tongue of an attacking leopard? Can an average cheetah, can an average human kill a cheetah in a fight? Sure, it's possible. While a cheetah might be on the weaker side when it comes to big cats, they're still relatively strong and capable of bringing down many large animals. This is an AI-driven article. There's like no source or anything. Human versus, <laughs> sorry, there's a Reddit result as well. Hey, Bot Nasty, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Human versus cheetah in a boxed room. Human wins all three. Cheetahs are lightly built speedsters, not well suited for close combat with prey that fights back. Years ago, I worked at an animal shelter that had a 100-pound cheetah. It attacked another worker, and he beat the shit out of it, broke a few of its ribs, and pummeled it until it was nearly unconscious. He was 6'3 and 230. That sucker scratched him up pretty good, though. All right, I mean, I'm not 6'3, 230. I guess, I, I can't believe it, but I, I learned something. I'm going to put it in, it's a close one, but I would lose. I still would bet on the cheetah versus me, but... I, I am very surprised. I thought a cheetah would rinse me easy. Why do you have cow is less likely to beat you than... Or more likely to beat you than wolf? Because I... Listen, I can't beat a cow. I can't kill it. It's like trying to kill like a rock. There's the, I can't, you know, like in a, an RPG when you go to like a, a late game area by accident and then you like hit an enemy with your sword and it takes off an imperceptible amount of their hit bar. Like their, their health points come up and you can't even tell that you did damage. That's me versus a cow. I don't think I could kill it. Now, wolf... A wolf's DPS is crazy, but it also has, like, I would do some damage to a wolf if I could hit it. Google man versus wolf. I don't need to. I've seen The Grey starring Liam Neeson. Who would win in a fight? A wolf or a human? Okay. <clears throat> This was written by someone who loves wolves. I'm going to read it anyway because I'm intellectually honest. An unarmed human could not beat a wolf in a fight. Wolves are too strong, fast, and ferocious for a person to overcome in the vast majority of cases. Okay, it says vast majority. It doesn't say impossible. So which is it? it could an unarmed person could not beat a wolf in a fight or it's unlikely. Wolves are apex predators that should make any lone person recoil in fear that they should encounter one in the wild. Okay, we get it. Like, you love wolves. The only chance a human would have would be to somehow use their strength and body weight to take down and choke the wolf to death. That's not gonna happen, though. Why? Source, dude, just trust me. Before you imagine yourself putting a wolf in a chokehold, you have to realize that even most domesticated dogs can fight their way out of having their nails clipped, are you stupid? It's not, it's because you don't want to hurt your dog by like restraining it to the point where they're going to be like breaking their arms trying to get out of this. You're not putting your dog into like a, a full Nelson to cut your dog's fingernails or like paw nails. What would most likely happen is the wolf would stalk the human waiting for them to make a move. If the human runs, the wolf would follow, waiting on the individual to get tired. That's when the attack will come and the person will be too exhausted and scared to fight back. Okay, so it doesn't even, like, 
fit the terms here because we're dropping them both into an arena. If the person stands and fights, the wolf will probably test them by lunging and dodging, delivering a bite here and there. Eventually, the wolf is going to see there isn't much in the way of danger and will attack. The human will go down in so much pain they won't be able to fight back. I mean, I'm sorry to say, Dave, maybe this is how it would go down like for you because you love wolves so much. But I mean, I would like to at least... I didn't say I would beat it for the record. I said it would beat me. But this is not how it's going to go for me. I'm at least going to fight back a little bit. What animal could beat a wolf in a fight? A brown bear. And that's it. Wow. This is from wolvesareawesome.com. Who would win in a fight? A wolf or a man? It depends on the will to live and the human. In general, the human should win in most cases, even when badly wounded, and he may die if his wounds aren't treated. The human ability to grab, be it a stone, a stick, or even just the wolf itself, is a game changer. A human can punish, break bones, and just strangle the wolf, while the wolf can pretty much only bite and scratch, which a human can do too, actually. Me going to town on a, on a wolf... <laughs> I don't know if I if I put too much power level in with the human scratching. A human being is simply far more flexible in his body, especially the way their arms can move. The wolf the wolf shouldn't be over underestimated though. His bite can crush bones and will heavily wound a human being. If wolves kill deer heavier than themselves, they usually hunt in a pack and not alone, or they're deer that aren't able to defend themselves. Even a, a roe, that's a female deer, can wound a single wolf badly with its hooves. Blah, blah, blah. The other problem is the... Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what is it? No, a roe is a female deer, right? A doe is as well, but a roe is a female deer. It's both. Yeah, it's a, it's a type of deer. The female type. <laughs> They're fish eggs? Yeah, welcome to the English language. We got a lot of words that do some heavy lifting. They got two jobs. The damn gig economies getting out of control. The other problem here is the domestication of humans. When you allow me to call it this way, the fight or flight mechanism of the body is not really trained in many people. Most people just don't fight anymore even when they have to survive, which can be observed in the many situations in which people get bitten to death by a single dog. They just haven't learned to be violent, which leaves them oftentimes helpless in such natural situations. A modern Western city man or woman that never had to spend a night outside and never had to fight would probably lose against a wolf. Our ancestors would win but die from their wounds due to no or bad medical treatment. A modern human that learned the will to live in the wilderness would probably win. What? The way I'm looking at this is that it's, it's debatable. Could I beat a singular wolf in a fight? The answer is yes, although I expect you underestimate the power and reflexes of a wolf. As someone who's had direct experience with captured and hybrid wolves, I can tell you unless you've been in the presence of one of these animals, you simply cannot understand the beast's incredible strength and destructive potential. That being said, you clear it easy. Like many other large predators, they have a particularly invulner particular vulnerability, which can be exploited by humans. Nature has designed feral canines to attack fleeing prey using mouth structures specifically configured to keep bitten animals from pulling away. However, they have no psycho physiological mechanism for preventing an object from being pushed into their mouths and throats. The recommended survival technique for an attacking domesticated dog is to offer the forearm, then use the free arm to secure the back of the animal's head. The legs are then wrapped around the canine's torso and the animal rolled onto its back. Ordinarily, a dog will at this point attempt to dislodge the forearm from its mouth and get back to its feet. With proper resolve, the animal can be, the animal can be held in place and the bitten arm shifted so the fist can be pushed into the dog's throat and esophagus. This can profoundly restrict respiration. Holy cow. I'm going to be honest. I don't see me doing that either. I'm going to stick with the kicks. I, 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 you know, that'd be a great uh, 
scene in a movie though you could have that like hey wh who would win like when the characters all meet in the lodge and they're getting ready to go like ice fishing tomorrow they have an argument over drinks who would win in a fight i think i would beat a wolf honestly no way dude blah, 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 blah. you're an idiot blah, blah 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 look it up and then they read the whole thing and and then they're like oh okay and then like a wolf starts hunting them and then the guy who thought he could beat the wolf is like don't worry guys i got this and he holds out his arm like this, and then the wolf just comes and bites it clean off and runs away with it, and he's like, ah! That would be a, that would be a great scene. Otherwise, I will not apologize for any of this. Is, is Hall of Presidents just... It's a small world after all, but instead of different countries, you go through, like, you see every American president? It's, it's actually just an auditorium you walk through? What? It's, how can it be worse than it's a small world after all? It's a small world after all is like actually, like it, it's worse to be on the ride than it is to be not on the ride. Cap? It's not cap, okay? It's facts. You literally just watch robots talk in a theater. Oh, and yet you guys love uh, AI Seinfeld. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Dude, I mean, I'm just going to walk you through my thought process and make everybody angry. I'm kind of like over Hitman for, for now. It's not like I had a moment where I was like, oh, I'm sick of Hitman. I think you can see it just the way I'm, I've been playing the game. I've been like less patient and more like just walking into every mission with a gun and shooting the target in the head. Need some time in the, in the chiller, in the chili bin. And then like... I played a lot of strategy games in the past couple of weeks, and, uh, like, I would play Aces and Adventures again in my downtime. I think that game is destined to be underrated, but, like, with an element of fairness, analytics were bad, and then also, like, all of chat was like, I don't understand what's happening, which is completely fair, because it is, like, a... I mean, it's not a game you just look at and you're like, oh, the leopard shot his rock at uh, their units and killed them. And then, like, Patch Quest, I liked, but I didn't, like, I wasn't loving my time with it necessarily. Like, it just, for some reason, it didn't have the special sauce to grab me. And then Dungeons of Aether was, like, analytics poison and, and everyone in chat was like, uh, you did the wrong thing. And I'm like step by step, here's why I didn't do the wrong thing. And then they're like, yeah, but if you did this, it would have been the wrong thing. And I'm like, I didn't do that. And they're like, yeah, but if you did it. I'm very excited for CSGO 2. I think it's time for me to go pro. Let me see if there's anything new on Steam 250. Otherwise, there's always old reliable. Play Wo Long. I'm going to tell you, and again, nothing makes people angrier, and we do it to ourselves. I wouldn't have to say no to suggestions if people stop suggesting things. Of course, I'm not going to say yes to everything. Whoa, long is probably like 35 hours long, right? Uh, some people have said, will you play Whoa, long? And originally I was like, oh, you know, it seems like it's like a, a Souls type game that's getting good reviews. And then uh, some, I saw someone on my Twitter feed tweet that basically um, it's like Elden Ring, but with a lot more RPG trappings. And I said, nah. You unsold me. Elden Ring for me is all... I, I wish they drop one-eighth as many consumables as they did. Then I don't want to have to deal with, oh, your sword, you need to put a gem in the hilt to do, and then you got seven more experience points. Are you going to spec into red or blue key? And then, oh, you, you know, you get the idea. I don't think it's my game. Well, you know what? Let's stop beating around the bush. Let's do a couple hours of... of hard mode sap which just came out and then and then we got space tomorrow for um mario maker hey yo a a ron thanks for the gifted subscriptions thank you imagine getting a 10 piece on hard mode well we're gonna have to imagine i don't i don't see like a i don't see it coming to pass in reality Hang on, there's just a lot of tabs to get through here. Stop talking for a second. 
it does always feel great when you you're gonna ban somebody and then you hit uh tab and it's just like i i must have hit 20 tabs there there are a lot of people watching the stream whose names start with al i had i had to type in like six letters until they were the first person on autocomplete Start of battle, shuffle position of all friends. I'm not married to our positions right here. Friends summoned, make it faint. It's literally not a problem for us right now. This is literally nothing. There's, there's a chance. Sell me, buy me, and give me some damn levels. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought it would only be in battle. <laughs> that's that's really bad. Zero to one. Sixty percent. Good mode. <laughs> it's just like it's I gonna I'm gonna keep bashing my head against it for a minute here, but it's I mean it, I I just have to ask myself at some point, like is it is it more fun to have the dream of possibly one day getting a ten piece here? Or is it more fun to enjoy yourself and have fun and then deal with a bunch of, like, nerds in chat who are like, yeah, but it wasn't on hard mode. <laughs> good players win? Okay, go watch the good players. They gotta be live right now, right? It's Monday at 12.37 uh, p.m. Pacific time. They have no anecdotes? I know, because their ass is playing sap all the time. Hang on. This is my, my own banter there got in the way of proper order. I'm gonna place you first, move you up, okay, and turn. Right, roll, we might as well roll once. Ooh, maybe, we, we shouldn't be rolling anyway. That was a good shop, at least. And we don't have any, oh my god, we're gonna get a win. I did, that's two wins! Uh, this team eats us alive, because <laughs> of the snipers. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we were close though, we were close. Okay. All right, that's nine. Dude, there's, we're, we're actually cooking a little bit. That's only a 20X, you didn't get a 700X on that one? You can almost taste this one, man. I remember when I said this game mode was ass. I'm, I'm glad they, they tweaked it so that I could, um, do better. And as a result, I decided that it's not ass. It's actually a lot of fun when you're winning. Coconut to enemies, front to back. So it's three coconuts, two scorpions, or knock out the front friend. Knock me out. And then we'll just, we'll, we'll adjust our order. None of these, well, you would be like a three, for, nah, 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 nah. We sleep. Oh, we don't sleep. It's a little late, but I still think we have to try the jellyfish, just because we got a level imminently. And then a like, you go to the front, sell me a crow, and, like, we could take the easy level on this, or possibly... A flamingo could go hard. Well, no, it's just for one round. We could we could put it on the jellyfish and pray for a level two jellyfish and get it kitted out like crazy. I don't know. I'm praying. No! They snipe my weakest unit, and then they kill I gotta move him even further back. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm gonna... It's a bit of a perspective here, but I'm gonna take a level two rabbit. We're gonna... A bison on the squad is, is great eats. This is a just-in-case. Surely they wouldn't snipe two units. Sure. Just don't have a lot of HP to work with here. Still insanely bad. Maybe the mode is ass. <laughs> Maybe it's actually horrendous. Could you at least, in, in hard mode, could you at least, like, put me up against ass gamers? Like, I've seen squared circle on, on our, like, endless 10 pieces that aren't on hard mode. That's clearly someone who knows what they're doing in the game. Could you at least put me up against people who, like, 
stole their mom's phone to play Super Auto Pets on the Android store. There's no hard mode on Android yet. There were no utensils in medieval times, hence there are no utensils at medieval times. Oh, that's right, it's all PC nerds. Now I understand it. That explains it. Oh my god, a hit win. The llama is just, it's gotta be done. And we need to scale it. So the goose will go. The llama will come to the team. The stoat will go. Give me a giraffe. That's actually maybe even better. I should not. I thought you were getting to level three. I did the order so wrong. <laughs> I thought it, I thought that was enough to get it to level three. Hang on, I'll I'll take a dolphin. And this is the damn squad for now. Shall you get a giraffe? No, I don't think I will. Roll, one more roll. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my lumps on this turn. Ooh! <laughs> and next turn. Next turn we can start pop popping. Please buy food if you're gonna run rabbit. I love this message because I saw your first message was like 4chan green text. Uh, error, arrow um, has two rabbits, never buys food. And I said, I'm not going to respond to that bad faith uh, green text. And then they said, they, then they went straight to Tumblr soft boy. Please, it's killing me that you're not buying food. You got to learn to talk, not on the internet. Capital I in indentation to whom it may concern. I hope this email finds you well. I had noticed on your squad that you had been running two rabbits. I don't know if you know this, but rabbits actually provide you with a buff when you purchase some food. So you may want to consider purchasing food in the future. So thank you so much for your time. Sincerely, who cares? We get a lot of emails lately. Without being rude, the gist of the email is essentially a Kickstarter project you've never heard of is not funded. Anybody else in the same boat here, or is this a just me thing? Getting a lot of emails that are like, project you've never heard of that isn't even in your industry is 18% funded on Kickstarter. Can you tell a clippable story? I'm sorry I'm to the to the library. It doesn't work on command like that. I'm sorry to say. They've got to come up naturally, or sometimes not at all. The well's pretty dried up, but I'm, I'm planning on going to Costco uh, later today, so I'm sure we'll get some new stories about someone, uh, you know, completely blocking a hundred people from moving easily through the store because they wanted to try one bite of, like, cauliflower pizza or something. That cauliflower pizza, pizza is fire. I don't know why I said it. Like, Chipley, what did I click on? Give coconut enemies front to back, it's a disaster! I did, last week, we needed a quick dinner in a pinch. I got one of the, I'm sick of this guy. I got one of the Motor City frozen pizzas. It's like, it, it says it's deep dish, but it's not really deep dish. It's like, a, it's deeper than normal dish, but it's not quite deep dish. But the pizza was, it was pretty damn good, I gotta say. I mean, they said front to back. To me, this looks more like back to front, but I'm not trying to like quote Metallica. Yeah, it's Detroit style, exactly. I was I was impressed. It's it's one of the better frozen pizzas I've ever had in my life for sure. How's that for a clippable story? <laughs> I just I am sorry I can't read this. It's just too fast. What movie are Kevin Bacon and Demi Moore in? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Is it X Men First Class? Shouldn't be Hollow Man. Hollow Man is Elizabeth Shue. Ah, A Few Good Men, of course. The top billed actors in A Few Good Men. Demi Moore and Kevin Bacon. Tom who? Who Nicholson? Wait a minute. Four actors, one movie? But he did not give me four actors. He did not extend to me the same courtesy when he came into my chat. When he came into my chat, he gave me two actors, one movie. That's a lot harder. Let me guess. It was... Demi Moore, Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise, and Kevin Bacon. And he couldn't figure it out. Then he came into my chat and said, Who's, which movie are 
uh, Kevin Bacon and Demi Moore in together. And I was like, I don't know. And then he's like, uh, there's a few good men. It's uh, deliberately misrepresented. We're not on the same level. If you give me Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, I don't need any other actors in the movie. I don't need a Demi Moore or a Kevin Bacon. I'm saying a few good men, easy. Now I'm insulted, man. Oh, uh, I'm still I'm still waiting for the shoe to drop on this Jack Nicholson movie. Jumanji, no one ever saw that. Requiem for a Dream. A few good men. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's go. Send a raid arena to Northern Lion. Just hit him with a Demi Moore and Kevin Bacon. Hit him with a Demi Moore and Kevin Bacon. I'll see you guys over there. Have a great, safe evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I can't play Sporkle anymore because my audience will abandon me forever unfortunately, but uh, I can at least like backseat my friends playing Sporkle. I'm, I'm, I just wish he came at me with like an honest request instead of deliberately misrepresenting it. If he had said name a movie with Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, Demi Moore, Kevin Bacon, I would have said full stop, A Few Good Men. Instead, he comes at me with like the second billing and now I'm the fool. The crosswords let me know that you deserve respect as an intelligent human. You should play to your strengths and binge more crosswords. First, a couple of things there. What, you only respect intelligent people? Who are you to be the judge of intelligence to begin with? Let me see your credentials. Why am I trying to match up against you? How do you measure up against me, motherfucker? Plus, not, I'm, I'm not even smart. Like, I just, it, if anything, I'm just smart enough to... Oh, I clicked on this by accident, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm just smart enough to convince you that I'm smart because I have good verbal intelligence. You put my ass in a room with a jigsaw puzzle, you'd be like, this guy, he, he shouldn't be allowed out in society without a helper. Moreover, you think I'm not smart enough, despite the fact that you complimented my intelligence, for me to read your comment and not distill it down to brass tacks? What it basically said is play to your strengths, play exactly what I like. Me walking into uh, Heston Blumenthal's Carnival of gas, uh, gastro-molecular, wait, molecular gastronomy. He wants to make me some kind of, some like cream of Swede or something like that. I say, excuse me, Heston Blumenthal, play to your strengths. I really like chicken fingers. Can I get a five piece with fries? Have some respect. Can't find a better fish. So true. By the way, I owe Justin a huge solid. Someone in his chat last night says NL has verifiably bad music taste. Justin, the guy who everybody respects for having great music taste, defended me and said, I, I feel like my good friend Ryan usually has the same music taste as me. Or at least, I think he's, okay, we lost on two wins, but he said remarkably similar. And that's true. Like Justin and I, we're both into cool music. He's more into like, you know, hardcore and I'm probably a little bit more into three dudes looking at their shoes, playing like the same two chords for three minutes and going like, whatever you need from me, whatever you want, I'll do. Try to squeeze a drop of blood, squeeze a drop of blood from a sugar cube, you know? There's more, that's, that's more my speed. Yeah, like Weezer, you got me. Were you the person in, in Justin's chat who said I have bad taste because I think Pearl Jam has one good album? Anyway, hang on. This is not a baby blue Modest Mouse shirt. I would never buy Modest Mouse shirts because they put on one of the worst concerts I've ever seen. I would go see him again in a heartbeat. It was a great experience. Their heart was not in it, and I can't really blame them. My heart would not be in it either if I was on a... North American tour, and I had to stop in Kingston, Ontario to play at the world's worst ventilated bar of all time. The juice is the action. So true. Rip Tom Sizemore. Um, but also, like, I, I, mean, I never met him. I've watched some movies that he's been in, and I've 
found them, his performances have ranged from bad to good. But I heard he was kind of like a real piece of crap, but he did die. So I'm going to be saying rip Tom Sizemore. I was not involved in his life nor his death, but I am acknowledging that he has passed on non-judgmentally, but also non, without even a, a hint of praise. Because I don't know what he did, but a lot of people were not big fans. I think there might be like some police incidents or worse. He physically assaulted some people and did some drugs. Okay, listen, you should not physically assault people. If you do drugs, I don't really care basically at all. If you're a stranger, <laughs> at least. If you're my family and there's negative consequences to your drug use, then sure. But if you're just like a, if you're like a guy and you're like, I don't want people to know that like once every four months I do cocaine or something, I'd be like, does it literally, I, it, it's dust in the wind. Doesn't matter to me in the slightest. But if you were like, um, I do cocaine once every three months and then I like smash my head through car windows on the street, I would be like, please don't do that because like, I don't want my car window to be like, that's going to fuck up like my whole week. There's a shortage on auto glass right now. Yeah, because it could be my car. Well, like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, am I the only honest person on the planet? If, if someone's going around smashing car windows, I think it's bad, but I do care more if it's my car. I don't think people are going to be like, you know, oh, I, it, all other things being equal, I don't care if it's my car or someone else's car. I would rather it be someone else's car. Anyway, summon, summon a dog. Epic style. Can I just say, I know, like... Once, like, a meme is over, you don't ever want to acknowledge that you enjoyed it. I was driving with my daughter in the car. I can't remember what day this. It was sometime last week. Gangnam Style came on. And you know what? I thought to myself, Gangnam Style... It's still, I'm not going to go and say it should, it's, it, it should be on OK Computer or whatever. But it's a pretty catchy song. Honestly, I think we should leave our setup as is, though it, it pains me a little bit here. Like, it's not a song, like, like if what, what Did the Fox Say came on Spotify, I would hit next song, for sure. If Gangnam Style came on, I would still be like, I, I would be like, this is a fun song to listen to. I'm not embarrassed that we as a society gave some attention to Gangnam Style. It's the first song to break 2 billion views, which YouTube had to update their view counter from an unsigned 32-bit integer to an unsigned 64-bit integer. Actually, they had to do that when I started playing um, Europa Universalis 4. A lot of people don't know that. Plus 2, it's not a joke. It really happened. Freaky Friday to Lilo and Stitch. This is not possible for me because I don't, I can't name an actor who's in Lilo and Stitch. Is it possible for me to go Freaky Friday to Elvis Presley somehow and then get to Lilo and Stitch? Can I get a, a, a can I get help? Who's a voice actor from Lilo and Stitch? The Rock? Is it, that's, that's Moana. Ving Rames. Okay. Ving Rames. <laughs> From Freaky Friday to Ving Rames. This actually doesn't seem that hard then. Because we're really trying to get to anybody that was in Gone in 60 Seconds. Yo, Free Freaky Friday had a pretty star-studded cast. There's this guy. <laughs> you remember. You know this guy, he's from Sex in the City, he's been in things. I'm crunching the numbers here for a second, okay? Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girls. Tina Fey. I can get myself to Mark Wahlberg by a Tina Fey through Date Night. Hey, well, let's just do it. Lindsay Lohan, 
Give me, it's probably not going to be the most efficient line, but maybe we could do it fast. Tina Fey, take me to date night. From date night, take me to Mark Wahlberg. Oh, was William Fickner just in Gone in 60 Seconds? No, it seems like his kind of movie. However, he was in... He's in Heat, which has Robert Duvall. No. Um, one of these people was in Gone in 60 Seconds. Ashley Judd has been in a movie with Nicolas Cage. Where am I? <laughs> I've gone too far. I've been too deep. Okay, back when she was more uh, relevant, no disrespect. Ashley Judd. We got Morgan Freeman. We got Heat, of course. Okay, we're going to... Ashley Judd, she didn't have that much time in the sun, did she? Who we got there? I think I see like a Hugh Jackman, Greg Kinnear. Frida, of course. You got... Um, Uh, Alfred Molina, who was in Spider-Man 2. Elvis, Love Me Tender, The Love Songs. Elvis Presley, Lilo... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm trapped. Elvis... Um... No, oh, Jesus Christ. Tom Hanks... Brad Pitt, more than a pretty face. Brad Pitt, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Angelina Jolie, gone in 60 seconds, Ving Rhames. This doesn't even have Ving Rhames in it. It's Vinnie Jones. I don't think I can name a movie with Ving Rhames in it. My entire life I've thought that Ving Rhames was in... Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Ving Rhames is from Mission Impossible. Give me Nicolas Cage. I'm, I'm looking for a whole different line now. I had to start from zero. Fucking... <laughs> Take me back to Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay. Wait, we were literally just there. What's wrong with you? Okay, give me Will Patton. He's got a great filmography. Put me on Minari, just because it's a great movie. Then from Minari, we're going we're gonna to take Steven Yun, and we're going to get to Mission Impossible, okay? Any Mission Impossible. I'm going to say Space Jam, A New Legacy. And then we're going to go uh, Anthony Davis. We're going to go Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, of course, was in Crash with um, Terrence Howard, who was in... Hustle and Flow. With DJ Qualls, who was in Road Trip and Road Trip Beer Pong from 2009. From Road Trip, of course, we can go... I mean, we've, we've been in here for a while. You take Ethan Suplee, you take that to the Wolf of Wall Street. One of you fuckers had to be in a Mission Impossible, man. You go to Matthew McConaughey, you go to Sahara. Sahara to Lambert Wilson to The Matrix, Reser uh, the Matrix Reloaded. I give up. I'm washed, man. I'm <laughs> Why Lambert Wilson? I know him. This is the problem, man, with not having an ending point. And then getting the ending point completely wrong. If it had been Lilo and Stitch to Freaky Friday, we would have had a chance. Try the other way. I guess we could do that. Hang on. From Lilo. Why? No, I got to go piss. And it's also it's 2.09 p.m. Is my wife live? Yes. Okay. 
I'm going to send you over there. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with some fresh anecdotes from Costco. But I don't know. People have been treating each other well. 2020 to 2022 was kind of an anecdote-rich era once they opened everything back up because like at least 25% of society just went absolutely crazy. Nowadays, people have kind of normalized a little bit. It's a little harder to farm the, the banter out there. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just go to Costco and start shoving shopping carts around and just see what happens. See you. Am I enjoying Costco? It's all right. Doesn't really have all the things that I like. And also, I find Costco extremely... Not extremely, but expensive. I know, I know, you guys are like, are you crazy, Kate? Costco is actually cheaper than local supermarket. Like, are you out of your mind? But I, I, I don't know, I find Costco expensive. For example, I can buy enough ingredients for my lunch and dinner not like it's not my lunch and dinner my whole family's lunch and dinner at the korean supermarket for like 200 dollars. 200 dollars for a week worth of food uh, to cover both lunch and dinner whereas uh when we shop at costco you just buy like five things just five like you know like normal things like not a big furniture or anything like that and it's like 180 and like we didn't buy anything it's like 18 dollars dude what a, what the hell what about the two percent cash back what about it i told ryan we need to get something from costco and then oh chocolate milk and then ryan said good news I checked the Costco flyer today, and the chocolate milk is on sale. <laughs> I was like, yay. <laughs> I have never seen my husband so happy. It's, it's such a weird feeling. He is so old, dude. He's so old. I, I never felt so, like, foreign. I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> he has never ever like good news i checked flyer he doesn't look at flyer but he was checking like he went to the costco online flyer this morning to see what was on sale because we we're gonna go to costco today like who's this man who's this guy who's it's a after 10 years of being married to this guy or not married but living together with this guy i'm like dude i don't know who this guy is Someone, someone changed my husband. You know how you really like Disneyland? That's his Disneyland. Yeah, but like, I don't get it. Cause like, what's fun about Costco? And then I know, Chet goes like, What are you talking about, Kate? Costco is so fun. So much better than Disneyland. But I don't find it fun, dude. It's like, I don't know where you live. But I, I tend to find Costco insanely busy 24-7. It's like, it's always like... And then like the, the Costco cart, they're so freaking huge. So like, you always have to do the little like Canadian shuffle. I'm like, oh, are you gonna go to the right? Are you gonna go to the left? Oh, I'm sorry. Oops, oops, sorry. Excuse me. Oops, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Whoops. Just hauling that huge ass shopping cart, dude. Not on America? Isn't Costco literally just a supermarket? What's fun about it? Thank you. Thank you. He's so financially responsible. That's why he gets off on Costco deals. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think... I don't know if, if that's... Related. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it is. But I don't think necessarily it's related. He's saving for my Ferrari! Oh. Ryan's Anya RP win. I was thinking about it, not gonna lie. But then... Um, Anya is like... I'm pretty sure she's in elementary school. Luna is not. So... 
we have to wait until Luna is in elementary school. But I think this year, uh, we're going to do Monsters, Inc. I'm gonna be Sullivan. Luna is gonna be Boo. And Ryan's gonna be Mike Wazowski. You'd be asking, why is Ryan... Mike Wazowski instead of Sullivan? I lower my glasses and I look at you. Where is that emote? Where is the... Where, what is the, which emote is the, the Ryan's emote where like he lowers the glasses and looking? I'm, I'm doing that. I love Rex! In Toy Story, Rex gotta be my guy. I don't, I don't care about Woody, Buzz Lightyear. To me, they're just annoying. The Sully outfit has that energy. Sullivan, how can you not love Sullivan? Oh, just thinking about... <laughs> Ooh, my nose! My nose tingles. This is making me cry, making me tear up, dude. Ooh, so good. So you're telling me Ryan could pull off a Lloyd Forger cosplay? Yeah? Got just easy, dude. You know why it's easy? He's white. Ryan's white. Just get him a suit and a wig. It's not like asking Asian person to be white. <laughs> Which is gonna be me. Wait, no. The girl is actually Asian, so it kind of works. I would die if you give him a wig. That's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like... It's like it's our family Halloween tradition and then like... You over here in the corner just like fans screaming like, Oh my god, yes, Kate! Yes! Like, it's just like, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm doing it because I like it. But then like, you know, I don't, I don't need you to be in the corner screaming, fans screaming. I would die too. <laughs> now I got the whole crowd! What's great is that it's not just a wig. It's anime wig. You know what happens in anime wig? That shit is all like pointy as fuck. It's all like Final Fantasy shit. Pointy, like freaking pineapple. I will tell you this much. If the Spy Family cosplay goes well, which is gonna be for, we have to wait for a while. Cause we have to wait until Luna is in elementary school. So we're talking here like, uh, four years. <laughs> but, um... If, if the wig, if the anime wig style gets pulled off by my own husband, you know, you know who's coming next. I gotta try Roy Mustang! I gotta try Roy Mustang, dude! Excuse me, Miku? What the fuck? And then have him, have him be like Roy Mustang. I might cry. I might actually join you guys in the corner fans screaming and crying too. I'll be like, guys, move, move aside. Can you give me a room? I'm also crying. Why not do an FN, FMA cosplay? There's the daughter, right? What the fuck? Are you, are you out of your mind? Are you messed up? That's the most fucked up shit a person could say. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh... You're like, you freaking almost got banned. You almost got banned, dude. <laughs> you want to not be used. You want to not be used. His hidden card. <laughs> Anti banning measure deployed. He's too good. Oh no. Oh no, who's the. Yo, who's the whistleblower? Yo, who freaking sold me out? Who sold me out? They better, they better freaking do it. Where, where, who was it? Who was it? Bonya. Internet FBI coming down. Knocking on your door. Was that you, Watanabe? I don't even see Watanabe in chat. He already, he freaking ran, didn't he? Wouldn't it be funny when he comes back and he's freaking banned? I'm just kidding. Oh no. Look what you did. 
Now my husband is ranting about freaking Kirkland brand in my chat. You don't understand. In Hanam, the quality of the meat is not triple A plus S tier. Uh, all the uh, USA FDA approved cows. Uh, but then on the other hand, the Kirkland brands, they're the freaking USA FDA. FDA approved uh, all organic, all healthy. It was you? You Watanabe, you little piece of... Now I'm in a freaking footy tent! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, thank you, you Watanabe, for the gift sum. Oh, they should ban averted. I cannot believe you snitched on me, man. I thought you were on my side. I will not accept you stomping on Ryan's Disneyland. Yeah, but then you accepted when Ryan was stomping on my Disneyland. What is this? Bias? I'm wearing a Disneyland sweater. So true. Oh my gosh, what a timing. What a timing. Your honor, I'm innocent. <laughs> Your honor, I'm innocent. Look at me, I'm wearing Mickey Mouse shirt. I'm just saying they each have their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, the strength of Costco is, is white people food. And the strength of Hanam is Asian people food. <laughs> Costco has good Asian stuff? Not here! At least in Hawaii. They freaking... If you go to Costco in Asia or freaking in Hawaii, yes, of course they do. Not in Vancouver, though. So what's the Asian food in Costco? Dumpling? They have Bibigo frozen stuff? Yeah, those are the dumplings, dude! They have beef bulgogi here. Where my sister lives, they do have bulgogi. Where I live, they got no bulgogi here. What the hell? You have bulgogi, dude? I walk on back on Vancouver, got no bulgogi, dude. I'm, I'm even more pissed. Mine also sells a big jar of kimchi. Oh my gosh. I think we tried to find kimchi in Costco, and that kimchi did not look right. It was like washed off. Washed out kimchi. They were selling washed out kimchi, dude. It was like, it wasn't even red. It was like, it was like pink almost. What was the brand? Probably uh, called Yaki Kimchi. It was, there was only one brand. The one, the one and only. It was that one washed off, like, like pink colored kimchi, dude. I was joking at first, but Vancouver Costco does sound bad. Telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, please concentrate the discussion instead of jumping from topic to topic to make an easier edit and post. So so they can farm up the clips. The VOD is getting uploaded into the editing software as you speak. I know Ryan is uh Ryan's trying to uh convert me into a Costco lover. But you know. It's the the effort is cute. My day is so fucked up. I have to rewatch a three hour analysis vod for the animal fight tier list. <laughs> Dude, I was I'm not even joking, I was making mandu. That's like me meal prepping for my lunch. Just making mandu casually the whole time. I'm just hearing my husband like, Are you kidding me? I can fuck up a panda easy! I don't care, it's guy I can easily fuck a panda. And I'm like, just like the the whole screaming of like him killing pandas like non-stop. I'm like, man, dude. Pandas are supposed to be cute. And then chat, I guess I wasn't watching the stream. But I'm, I'm assuming the chat was like, yo bro, there ain't way, ain't no way that you can freaking kill the panda, dude. Ain't no way. 
And then Ryan's like, okay, after two hours of uh, heated uh, venter, he goes like, okay, fine, it's a draw. Maybe I won't be able to kill the panda uh, with my bare hands, but there ain't no way that panda can kill me. There's ain't no way that panda can catch up to me. I was like, man, the whole time I'm making mandu, I'm just, I'm just hearing this, <laughs> this, uh, like just uh, the animal tier list and animal fight tier list or something. I was like, man, this is a scary world out there. And then I had an idea pop in, clip that, send it to uh, Mr. Beast, and then Mr. Beast goes like, hmm, so about that. Can we see it coming true? And then they make like a battlefield for Ryan. And then Ryan and Panda Bear, they're fighting for their life. <laughs> but not in the harmful way. It's like maybe they can attach like six balloons on their ass. And once the, well, the person or the animal that pops the six balloons wins or something. Ryan would be like, I got a kid. I don't have time for this. Yo, if it's Mr. Beast who, like, runs this, he's probably gonna offer Ryan. If Ryan uh, wins against the panda, probably Mr. Beast will be like, if you, do, if you win against panda, I will give you this whole island for free! There ain't no way Ryan's gonna say no to that. He's gonna be like, bro, I'm gonna have a freaking island. Mr. Beast would offer him a hair transplant. <laughs> Don't do this. Does the island have a Costco? But Ryan... No! But Ryan can build his own Costco in his own island. He can call it the Costco Island. Dude, there ain't no way if Mr. Beast goes like, Yo, I'm gonna invite you for a personal YouTube video. It's gonna be like NL versus or bald man versus a panda and if you win i'm gonna give you an island for free there's no way ryan's gonna turn that shit down <laughs> the bald people were protected haven't you haven't you watched any anime or jrpgs bald men's are all the bad guys i didn't make the rule hey look here I didn't, I didn't make any media content that was like, hey, the bald people are the bad people. Yeah, but they're usually bald and ugly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's not me. That's not, that's not me. That's the tomato curry one. I didn't say that. I couldn't believe Watanabe snitched on me. Snitched on me and like, didn't even take on my side. <sighs> just, I'll just cry in bed. I thought he was on my side. They needed to generate content for YouTube. Yeah, but then I thought I thought you were I thought you were my friend. But you snitched on Ryan. I'm too Ryan. <laughs> How am I a parasocial? You snitched on me. He could have watched the vod. Oh, get real. Komodo Town. Just took out Komodo Town. I just got downed. You know, revived me. Now we're heading eastbound. Now we're at the gates of Canada. See the boss and kill him later. Take me to Canada. Wanna kill the boss? Stop the Mongol invasion. And lives been lost. I really want to. Tsushima with you. You could be the ghost of Tsushima, the ghost of Tsushima.